Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. So this evening we're going to be talking about how cosmetics are cosmic and divine. Let's get into it, shall we? Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming live. Um, so the word cosmetics actually comes from the word cosmic. Cosmetics comes from the Greek word cosmos, cosmic, divine. It represents the universe and the order from chaos. From chaos to order, cosmic, cosmetic. So divine beauty, bringing light, showing uh, off certain aspects of your features being seen. You know, so that's why you hear the stories of um, the fallen angels teaching women the art of painting your eyes or makeup and all that kind of stuff because it came from the cosmos. It came from above. Okay. So <laughs> if y'all were in my community section and y'all saw what I posted about the Dalai Lama, and he said that if the next Dalai Lama should be a female, she should be attractive. And if she's not, then she should buy some makeup. <laughs> and a lot of women were upset with him for saying that. But he simply meant that we are human and we see with our eyes and we respond to beauty. And if the next um, Dalai Lama is a woman, she should be attractive so that people can listen to what she's saying and not distracted by the disorder on her face or the dead face he calls it the dead face okay right mm -hmm. so <sighs> so don't be upset that with women who wear makeup they're just practicing the, the art of cosmic divinity, you know. Um, I feel like if people understood that it came from the cosmos, it might not be so bad, right? Think about it. If some, something came down from the cosmos, everyone rushes to, to investigate it. Oh, what is this? What is that? Oh, some new technology. Oh, this. But, you know, the one thing... <laughs> Makeup, oh no, that's a sin. Everything else, oh, the arts of metal, oh, the arts of, you know, if you used, to, a lot of people get upset when women wear makeup and try to look cute, but then they have, they're sitting here with metal on. That came from the cosmos too. Oh, they're sitting here using math and, uh, <laughs> you know, that, that all came from the cosmos too. So ladies, enjoy your cosmetics. In fact, you can get some, oh, shameless plug, you can get my Level Up Cosmetics on the link below. But um, I want to talk about that because I see so many men shaming women for wearing makeup because it makes them look beautiful and have higher self-esteem or um, enhances their natural beauty or get men to look at them who wouldn't normally look at them and spend money on them or whatever. Let that woman be divine. What, what's wrong with that? You know, let that woman be divine in, in any way she can find her divinity, just like you can be divine where you can find your divinity as a man. <laughs> okay. So um, allow, allow that understanding to sink into your mind. Allow that understanding. If it came from the cosmos, it can't be all that bad. Now, can it? <laughs> okay right uh, you know a lot of these beings and cosmic beings you know um, they are represented by certain animals like cats and birds and things like that I mean think about what the eye makeup reminds you of a cat a bird you know a um, so the eye of Ra, the whole Egyptian eye of Ra was, was what they painted. 
making it known that, oh, I see, I see all, I am all seeing, I have the both sides going, you know, I have the eye of a, of a, a raptor, I have the eye of an eagle, I'm higher spiritually, and I see from an above view that you only see on a, you know, a ground level when I see the whole bigger picture. So that's why you saw a lot of people wearing eye makeup, especially the Pharaoh and like a lot of um, priests and stuff in power. They would wear those um, looks and liner on their eye to represent that. Now, as far as women are concerned, you know, um, it also is alluring because it's considered divine, like a goddess. Okay. Thank you, Living Delightful Freedom, for the donation. Cole, right? So, um, beauty is a form of power and persuasion. That's that's true. If you can, if you can use beauty to get your way versus war, or beating someone, or uh, lying to someone, or you know doing something evil, why wouldn't you use it? If you can use it to get more money or a better job or a higher position, why wouldn't you use it? You know, if, if painting your face can get you more money, why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> it's there for you to use. If you use crystals, you might as well use makeup. Oh, this is going to lift my frequency and bring me good luck. And I have this peak um, rose quartz over here for beauty. Well, you got makeup for beauty too, okay? You can carry this rock all you want. It ain't gonna make you look no better. Put some makeup on, okay? And I, I'm only saying that, <laughs> I'm only saying that because you're gonna get better response. People will listen to you more. If you're trying to build up a company or if you're a face of a company, you know, you need to be something to, um, appeal to the to the customer you know you need to bring in the people um you use your beauty to persuade people that works yeah you know just like you know if you have a salesman they're not the ugly man because you ain't gonna you're gonna be wrong okay they're not gonna use an ugly woman to sell you anything either because you're gonna run away and say no thank you i don't want that so even companies understand this and there's a cosmic power in beauty. It's their sacred geometry and beauty. You know, um, Leonardo da Vinci and all painted, not all artists, but many of the artists of that golden age, the Renaissance age, um, sorry, the Renaissance age, they use sacred geometry when they painted uh, people, especially if the person was supposed to be the, uh, the beautiful one. They would use the sacred geometry to um, intensify her beauty, you know, because it represents cosmic order. Beauty represents cosmic order. That's why, like, think about when you look at nature. Do you look, go in, in and look for the ugliest stuff in nature or do you, are you attracted to the beautiful things in nature? You know, are you, are you attracted to the, I mean, some people are, and that's wonderful because you have to explore both sides. You can't understand what, what, uh, beauty is if you don't know what ugly is. If you don't know what ugly is, you can't understand beauty is. If you don't know how to, if you've never been ugly, you don't know that you're beautiful. You you understand? Because everybody can be both at the same time. For me, you wake up in the morning, you look in all sorts of crazy, you had a long night, you look in the mirror, you see ugly. If you can turn that into beauty, you're an alchemist. <laughs> okay. Um, Right, right. Hey. So take care of yourselves, ladies. Don't and don't let men shame you out of not using makeup. They just mad because they can't walk. I mean, some men are walking around with makeup. We we know. <laughs> mm hmm How'd you wake up in front of James when you first started out? Just like this. I still look good without makeup. It enhances my beauty. I mean, don't take it away. He thinks I look good without makeup. 
but I'm still wear it because I don't wear it for him. And when I'm wearing it, somehow I get more and things done faster. So beauty, nature, having a good day, right? So embrace your beauty, ladies. Don't put that on, don't downplay your beauty, you know? Just because you're spiritual don't mean you got to be ugly. Just because you're spiritual don't mean you got to look musty. Just because you're spiritual don't mean that you put yourself last. The more beautiful and spiritual you are, the higher you vibrate. Beautiful things vibrate higher. I ain't lying. I'm not telling you no lie. I promise you. This is the truth. Beautiful things combined with spirituality vibrate on a higher frequency. If y'all don't know, now you know. Okay, so get your makeup. Get your level up cosmetic. Get your wet and wild. I don't care what you buy. Put it on. <laughs> okay. I don't care where you buy. You don't have to, you don't have to buy it from me. You just get some and put it on your face. Because I, so many women's lives have changed after a makeover. If you ever watched those old talk shows from the 80s and 90s, you had this woman who was so sad and down and, could, you know, and all of a sudden Oprah gave her a makeover and she coming out looking better than Oprah. And, and the audience is like, oh my God, that's not the same woman. And the husband act like he got a new woman. He's like, that's mine. Y'all remember those talk shows? Do you see how the audience entire vibration changed in a snap? Did you see the husband's eyes when that woman walked out and after she'd been um, made over? That's vibrational. He probably the happiest he ever been. <laughs> okay. She probably didn't look like that when he met her. So, you know, with Oprah's team, you can do some things. But anyway, it's an instant vibrational lift, especially for the people around you as well. You know, you get lifted. They get lifted. Whoever walked by, you get lifted because you look good. You, somebody could have been having a terrible day, terrible day. And they see a pretty woman. Ooh, look at that, you know, instant lift. May not have a chance with her, but they happy now because they just seen something that looks cute, right? Same with the women. You you having a bad day? You, you go in the, um, the restaurant, order you a cup of coffee. You finna sit there and just, oh, what was me? And then your waiter walk up. You smell some cologne. He walk up. Excuse me, man. All of a sudden, your day has just gotten... 10,000% better. So, woo! And then you mad you didn't wear makeup that day because you got this cute dude looking at you, even though he probably, I don't know, whatever. We'll save that for the other channel. But still, or you sitting at the bar getting ready to have whatever, and then this cute man approaches you. Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? Is this seat taken? And you wish you would have put on makeup. Now your vibe low and high at the same time because you now you're embarrassed because you can't really you know, give them your best face. So why not just alleviate it all and look your best every day? <laughs> so, you know, you want to you wanna keep your frequency high, look good every day. That's another secret that most people that are on spiritual channels don't tell y'all. To keep your vibe high, look good all day, every day. I still got the price tag in there. But yes. <sighs> you gotta stay ready, girl. You've been depressed? Get your makeup on. Get your hair done. Go get your nails done. There's nothing. There's nothing that lifts your spirits like looking good, no matter what. When it when a man get a fresh haircut, he feel like he's walking taller, you know. Um, <laughs> so keep yourself vibrating high like a rose. That means you got to look good and smell good. Smell good and look good. Look good and smell good. That's going to keep your frequency up. 
You know that smells affect your brain and how uh, you vibrate as well. Wear the right perfume. You can raise people's feet. Uh, wear the right scent, oil, whatever. You raise people's um, frequency just walking by. You know? So um, just use yourself. If you're not going to talk to people, at least look good and raise their frequency. If you <laughs> if you don't have time to be spiritual and raise your frequency today, at least look good and keep your frequency lifted as well. You know, uh, dress nice. If you don't have anywhere to go, still put on some cute clothes because your frequency is going to stay high. Mm hmm. There there's no such thing as beauty. There is a such thing as perception. And whatever you're perceiving. Okay, so like if you say, okay, go out into nature and bring me something that makes you happy. Probably somebody gonna bring back a flower. That's what beauty is. Okay. Something that lifts your frequency. Go out into the nature and bring me back something that made you smile. Bring me back something that made you happy when you saw it. That is beauty. Okay. So, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Somebody may bring back a stone or a crystal. Another person will bring a flower. Another person will bring what? Something, a mushroom. <laughs> Somebody, they're going to bring something back. Okay. Someone said cash. So whatever they bring back is what they find beautiful, what made them happy. That's why people have different tastes, different um, levels of, uh, different variables of beauty and et cetera. But it still has to be seen, you know, it still has to represent itself as, you know, um, you have a couple of crystals sitting next to each other or in the ground you're digging or in a cave. One is shinier than the other. One is dull. One is shinier than the other. You're going to get the one that's the shiniest because it, it gives the most luster, the most sparkle like in the cosmos. So you're going to you're going to understand that beauty is in the in the eye of the beholder, but it also is what makes you vibrate on a higher frequency. Ancient people sacrifice beauty is an illusion. We're doomed. Just because you ugly don't mean that we're doomed. You can you can put on some makeup or wear a mask. <laughs> um. So anyway. Anybody who's against beauty, you know they're ugly. Beauty and the Beast. Look, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Tale as old as time. Even the Beast wanted a beautiful woman. <laughs> I'm trying to find me my Beast. Oh, all right. Say, someone said, it's, if beauty is an illusion, then ugly is an illusion as well, right? Beauty is order in the cosmos, and I would say ugliness would be disorder. And you can be both. <laughs> okay? I'm serious. I was born on the cusp of beauty. <laughs> I've always thought that beauty was divine. It is divine. Let me ask you a question. If beauty wasn't divine, why wouldn't they make all these statues and deities ugly? Why do they make them somewhat attractive? Why aren't they ugly? Think about it. They could have made them look any way. Scary. I mean, if we're supposed to fear God or fear this, why did they make them look scared, ugly? 
Why does the devil look ugly in religious pictures, but Jesus looks attractive or the angels are attractive? <laughs> it's seduction, exactly. So it plays a huge role in your frequency as well. It plays a huge role in your frequency. So just think about this. If someone, if someone were to give you bad news, and this is scientifically probably, like this is scientifically accurate. Depending on who gives you news, you treat them different. Get an ugly person to tell you something bad. Get a, um, a, an attractive person to tell you something bad. Usually you'll react worse around the less attractive person than you would the attractive person. Okay? <laughs> it's just the truth. So this is why companies hire more attractive people. This is why more attractive people are put in the forefront of the company. As the face of a company, they get the promotions faster. Okay, so if you're not getting ahead in work, go get a makeover. If you can't get ahead in life or in your love life or spiritual life, go get a makeover. Do your own makeover. Why? Because people respond to things by looks. And that's even the Dalai Lama says it. Y'all saw, um, y'all heard what I said earlier about the Dalai Lama said if his female if his predecessor is a free a female, she should be attractive. If the, if the next Dalai Lama is a female, she needs to be attractive. If not, put some makeup on her. That's what he said. And he's not lying because people respond differently to beauty than to non-beauty, I'll say. It's the only, it's weird. It's the only person to talk about manifesting with dark energy has no one else covered the topic that I I don't know. I don't keep up with other people. I just do what I do. But um, they may call it something else. I don't know. Um, so, and it, it doesn't matter if you consider, if you're considered ugly or pretty. It matters how you feel about yourself and how other people treat, how other people treat you and how you, um, you know, navigate through your life. And how you vibrate due to your own level of confidence and, you know, self-care. You know. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. So, I am accepting donations. The little money button is right here. The super chat is down there. Or if you don't see the super chat chat button, you can just send it straight to my cash app, baby. I'll put it down there. That's my cash app. And I'll get a ching a little notification on my phone. So thank you guys. Um, a fractal fantasy. Thank you. Hey Shira, you're just just saying hello. Thank you. Thank you, a fractal fantasy. Appreciate that. Hey. So that's why women like jewelry, beautiful clothes, um, and things like that, because it makes them feel divine. Royalty was associated with beauty, jewels, and color because they were uh, so closely associated with the divine. Thank you, living delightful freedom. Thank you for that donation. Think about it. The finest dyes, the finest silks and colors of, of fabrics, they wore wigs, like in some cultures. They would have fine jewels because they were a reflection of the cosmos, of the divine. Okay. Thank you, um, lit, lit two goddess. Think about the African tribes and how they have all the rich, colorful cloths. And they do the makeup. And um, they have a lot of... Um, beads that are many different colors this is divine okay keep keep that in your mind so and you look into the cosmos we wouldn't have astronomers we wouldn't have people that were interested in the cosmos if the sky was not beautiful if the sky was an ugly hot mess if it was a crack in the ground no one would care to look up 
Thank you, Carla. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Thank you for sharing your prosperity. <laughs> Thank you, girl. So I promise you the whole spark behind you wouldn't even be here if your mama wouldn't is somewhat type of cute. <laughs> okay. Or your daddy. <laughs> or your granny, you know, if, if no one found your parent attractive, you wouldn't be here either. <laughs> okay. So. Anyway. True. It was hotter than a spoon at a crack then today. High priestess. What a metaphor. <laughs> or is that a, what is that, a simile? <laughs> um, my being ugly is painful. It's like having a major headache, girl, boy, whatever you are. There's power in ugly too. Don't, now let me switch to the ugly power. I had talked about the beauty being high vibrational. Let's bring in the ugly. Sometimes you got to bring out the ugly folk to get stuff done. Okay. Come on, y'all. Y'all want to talk about the ugly? And I I love ugly people. I have nothing against ugly people. I like beautiful people and ugly people because we all have our ugly days and our beautiful days. And we all have a role. Let me tell you. Let's talk about the ugly. <laughs> Thank you, Enchanting Maria. Hi, Shira. Approach on how to get a man back you shun because he was broke. This is the wrong channel, baby. But um, seduction. Apologies and seduction and, and beauty. Get you some level of cosmetics and get cinema nice soapy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, but. Yes. Okay. So ugliness plays a huge role. Sometimes you have to be ugly to get certain things done. Okay. To be taken seriously for months. Let me tell you all a story. Well, that's not really a story. When you're trying to accomplish a certain thing and beauty is in your way and no one can hear you, they can only see you or your fame is in the way and no one is listening to your words. They're only groveling at your fame like Michael Jackson. No one really ever listened to the words he was saying. They were just, oh, Michael Jackson. Sometimes beauty blinds you and you don't get the message. Thank you, uh, Raven Fair. Thank you for setting the record straight about beauty. Oh, thank you for the donation. So sometimes you need to bring some ugly fool in. Not really a fool, but Sometimes you need to bring the ugly person out. It can even be you without all your stuff on. So sometimes you need to bring the ugly person out to do business. Sometimes you need to bring that ugly person out to be taken seriously and get the get get the message heard. You understand? Sometimes you got to bring the ugly people out to get the job done. Okay? That's why they bring in... <laughs> They bring in the pretty face to sell it. They bring in the ugly face to close the deal. When they got to work them numbers and do that haggling, they bring that ugly out. And they trying to then they trying to sell you something. You know how when they on the phone you hear the pretty sexy voice, "Hi, would you be interested in that da 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 da?" Blah 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 blah. Beauty can be a sound. Okay, great. Well, let me pass you over to my um uh, uh, da, 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 my supervisor to close the deal. Okay. All right. Hi, sir. So you were interested in getting the da -da -da nice man. <laughs> See, they bring in cute to get your money or to get you interested. Then they bring in ugly to close the deal. Get your money to, to get their get their best haggle on. Okay, so you need both to close the deal. You need ugly and cute. You need ugly and you need beauty and ugliness. You need order and chaos to create. So one lifts you to where you feel like, oh yes, I can have totally afford a two thousand dollar vacuum. One beauty 
and a nice voice will make you think you can do anything. <laughs> then when when you start talking to the ugly uh the ugly person on the phone that says, okay, well, we could split this up into 36 monthly payments of, you know, this many dollars. Now you realize you can't afford no $2,000 or well, you could, but it's a lot of money for a vacuum, but you've already told this nice lady and you're now you're in the process of, because you already gave the lady your credit card. Now he's trying to figure out how he needs to bill you. And you got the ugly voice on the phone now. So <laughs> they got you. <laughs> And they're back there giving each other five. Good deal, good deal. Work together. You know, this is why you always see an ugly man or a beautiful woman or an ugly woman and a nice looking man because together they can make, make stuff happen. <laughs> I don't know exactly why people see darkness and as ugly. Uh, I think. People's version of ugly differs, but whatever you think is ugly, whatever you think is beautiful, that's what you're attracted to. And that's what's going to um, raise your frequency. How about that? Okay. <laughs> like there's some, okay, think about this. I, I deal with a lot of ladies on my other channel. There are women in certain countries that are average in their country, but would be considered beauty queens in another country. Okay. So. It's all a matter of perspective, you know. Um, it's just, it just is what it is. So, um, right. But it does raise a man's frequency and other things when they see something very attractive. Um, and so, if that's what if that's what truly happens, then why isn't beauty considered spiritual? You know, if you go look on all the walls of ancient Kemet and um, all those women are beautiful on the walls. They didn't paint no uglies. Okay. All the men look good too. They didn't paint no. So they were very spiritual people. They painted themselves, adorned themselves with jewelry, clothing, makeup. Why? And they were one of the most spiritual people. Think about it. The most spiritual people adorn themselves the most. Even the Pope be trying to look cute with all the colors and stuff and gold shoes and whatnot. The most spiritual people adorn themselves with jewelry, fine clothing, makeup, wigs and that's just the truth you said sell that makeup I'm gonna sell it regardless <laughs> that's what I do but I'm, I'm here to tell you because someone was um, questioning me well how can you be spiritual and and wear all this makeup and hair and well um look at the ancient Egyptians Look at the, the people of, of India. Look at the Native American. They all adorn themselves and they will continue to adorn themselves just like I will. And if you don't know, now you, now you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't be afraid to adorn yourself. Be a, be a goddess, be a priestess, be a, be a something. You know, don't be a humdrum, everyday, blah, plain Jane looking, you know, insignificant human. Oh, yeah, I said it. Not enough people will say it. <laughs> right. Peace. Mm hmm. And a lot of ladies who are very spiritual, you know, um, you will, let me tell you something about being spiritual. When I said that feeling good, looking good is raising your frequency. Imagine how high your frequency will be raised if you are also spiritual and 
beautiful. It's just going to take you to the next level. I'm trying to tell you. Um, I make it a point to come online and look in decent every time I come on here. I could come on here. I could make way more videos if I didn't have to, you know, um, look good for you guys. I could be sitting up there in the dark, you know, with, with a scarf on my head or a bonnet on my head and no makeup on and, and talking about something that y'all would probably not even listen to <laughs> because of the way that I look. All comments would be on my look. You see? So, um, <laughs> are you sick? What's wrong with you? Did James leave you? I mean, that's all. What are you doing? <laughs> You depressed? <laughs> you know, so, okay, so that's why you got to give, you got to, you got to enhance all, you got to appeal to all the senses, you know, um, at least the ones that can be given through the screen. Um, is beauty a mask? No, ugly is a mask. That's why they make ugly masks for Halloween. Mm. Um, no, to, to answer your question seriously. Beauty is not a mask. It is divinity. It is, it is order out of chaos. Okay. Um. <laughs> so men if you uh, if there's men on here who have downed women for wearing makeup remember it's divinity it's not anything terrible I mean who told you to tell women that wearing makeup is bad just think about it for a second who told you that women who wear makeup are bad or evil where did the makeup come from the cosmos. I mean, the idea of makeup came from the cosmos. There you go. So if you're all for the divine beings that come from the cosmos and all for these people that brought knowledge and stuff, but you're against the one part that gives women um, cosmetics, then that, that's kind of like being a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ugly can be protection for some yes if someone doesn't want the attention of other people if they don't want to raise other people's frequency and they want to lay under the radar of course ugly is protection um mm -hmm. if you're not a makeup person and you like, uh, look I know what you're saying she or she or whatever, but I just, I can't do makeup, but you can do nails, you can do jewelry, you can do perfumes, earrings, you can do clothing, you know, do what you can. Um, oh, okay, that'll work. <laughs> do skincare, right, pluck eyebrow, pluck a mustache if you have <laughs> okay don't walk around looking like that. um right do what you can and stop hating on you exactly wear minimum makeup as long as it makes you feel good it doesn't matter how much you put on or how little you put on just do something all right you don't need cosmetics it's silly you don't need anything you don't need a lot of things but you still use them so like you don't need a car you can actually walk uh -huh. if it's for those who want to feel divine and raise their frequency and raise other people's frequencies around them mm -hmm. i always thought this is a good natural but i'm from the baltimore area that that's what I'm used to seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I have daughters and they're young and they look beautiful without makeup. But when they hit a certain age, they have to compete. They got to compete. And they're going to have to wear something on their face to compete. They're going to have to have their hair in a certain way to compete. And they're going to have to do that. And they're going to look very good doing it. They're going to raise their frequency and their self-confidence and, you know, take their place in the world. They're going to rise higher and keep moving, you know. Um, and also, you know, a lot of people who get, let's, let's say you come into some money. Let's say you come into some abundance and now your look or your residence or your car has to now match your level of abundance, right? Most people, when they get a little money, they start looking better a little better. Like when you look at the Kardashians. So they start looking a little bit more, you know, better and better, whatever, they, whatever they're doing, be it past plastic surgery or makeup or whatever. But as prosperity increases, as frequency increases, as knowledge increases, so does everything else around it, including your looks, you know. So, um, how come I always got to talk about it? If y'all, look, if y'all want the spiritual broke channel, this ain't it. If y'all want the opposite, <laughs> if y'all want the spiritual broke channel, y'all know where the dusties and whatever's are, okay? Y'all know where that channel is. This This one ain't it. Okay, I'm I'm one of the few people that are spiritual that are going to talk about money, that are going to talk about beauty, that are going to talk about cosmetics, that are going to talk about the importance of prosperity. I'm not going to sit up here and I'm not going to hold your hand and I'm not going to make you feel good about your situation. That's up to you. You ain't got to tell nobody. Okay. <laughs> so. What I'm talking about is your frequency can be higher depending on your looks, your level of prosperity, whatever, whatever. You know, someone with prosperity can walk around with a higher frequency than someone broke worrying about things. If everything is frequency, if everything is frequency, if you don't have anything to worry about financially, your frequency is naturally higher. OK, if you walking around thinking you looking cute, your frequency, is, your frequency is naturally higher. OK. Therefore, you're going to attract more and have a better lifestyle, period. Your frequency is going to be higher. You're going to be able to be more intuitive. You're going to pick up on stuff that other people who are sitting there worried about how they're going to get their rent paid can't pick up on. OK, so think and stop trying to fit into the fake spirituality of poverty. Nobody that's spiritual was poor. Nobody who was deemed highly spiritual was broke ever. Okay, so stop trying to be the opposite of what true spiritual people are. True spiritual people are wealthy and they look good and they smell good. And I'm not talking about wealthy like you know, oh, I own a bunch of stuff, but wealthy as far as prosperity. They have everything they need and don't have to worry. Okay? So, I'm not going to sit here and hold your hand and say, oh, your excuse for this, you know, is, is spirituality. You can't use spirituality as a crutch or an excuse anymore. It's not going to work. We're, we're getting too high level for this now. That day is over. OK, so now is the time to, to vibrate higher. And the only only way you could truly do that is to go and look back at the past. Look at back. Look back at your ancient ancestors. They didn't look or a, a speck of Poe. Only time they looked poor is when they were in captivity. OK. Exactly. But how come you accept money from people on it? I do because I like money. I'm always like money. You want to donate to my uh, cash app? <laughs> and it's always the men. Why is it always the men? Because you can't do it. 
you can get on, you can get a YouTube channel too. No one has stopped you. If you have a lot of spiritual things to give and a lot of information, you can also get it too. There's nothing stopping you. I know I'm not. I am not stopping. You can do the exact same thing that I'm doing and maybe even better. I'm not stopping you. Right? Donations, energy, exchange, right? This is a service, people. Exactly. And it's their choice to donate. I'm, I'm not sitting up here telling people they better pay or they going to be cursed and go to hell or wherever, wherever. They're, they're choosing to do those things. So, I, and I, I truly appreciate it. Okay? <laughs> so, if you have a problem mixing spirituality with wealth, go talk to all the ancient cultures that created it. Because they had wealth, they wore makeup, they had beauty, and they had spirituality. And they gave you the very things that you believe in to the core. And you sitting up here talking blasphemous. Okay? <laughs> so, get into that frequency. That's how you get money. Tap into your ancient, your ancient ancestors. You know, they had money. They had gold. They had spirituality. They had the keys to the universe. They walked around in divinity and looked like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Wigs and everything. Come on now. Now, we're not, we're not living in those times anymore, but we can still represent ourselves. You know. This shirt, where I get this shirt, girl, I don't even remember. Probably Target or something. <laughs> this looked like something I got from Target. Or Forever 21 or something. Uh, one of them. It's, it's not an expensive shirt. But at the end of the day, <laughs> walk in your divinity. And that means walk in your true definition of divinity, which means, and also prosperity. Royalty was divinity. Royalty walked in divinity, which means they walked in prosperity. You can't call yourself divine, royal, if you're not walking in, or not, not trying to walk in divinity. Trying, like everyone's on a path. You ain't there yet. You getting there. You on your way. You doing your best. But don't down it. No, not everybody was there where they are right now. They were getting there. And they, some people are already there. Some people still on their way. Some people just getting up and, and starting to dust themselves off to walk. But everybody needs to be going in that direction. And understanding that people have been lying to you and fooling you to thinking that spirituality was poor and ugly. Psychologically, what does poor and ugly get? Nothing. So you can be the most spiritual person in the world. If you don't look like anything, no one's listening to you. You know, you can want to change the world, but if you have no influence because you have no money or power, you can't do anything. You know, but when you get all those things, you almost become like you're divine and you can do so much. You can step in. Look at Jay-Z. He can step in and throw his team of lawyers on anything and get it taken care of because he had money. Okay. So just understand that if you want to walk in your divinity, you must vibrate on a high frequency. In order to vibrate on a high frequency, physically and spiritually, you must take care of the inside, the outside and your spirit soul, energy, whatever, okay? All of it is important. All. There were no ugly people in the main cast of the Ten Commandments. That's true. So, just think of it like that. It's not required. It's just something that you can use to your benefit or something that you don't need to be a hypocrite on when it comes to spirituality. You know? I think most people don't realize that the word cosmetics comes from the word cosmic. And the ancient 
cosmic beings did bring the art of makeup to earth. Okay. So let's just let's just understand that for a little while. Let's just let's just think about this. Um I went to see the Broadway show at the theater last night. Um Aladdin. I got this little cup. And very, very vibrant. It was the Disney version. Very, very vibrant costumes and colors and sparkles on the stage, you know, um, very divine, like very beautiful. Everything was like, you know, Disney's over the top with everything because they can afford it. But just over the top, spectacular. I know all the frequencies in that audience was on super high just because of the colors, you know. And of course, they all have attractive actors. <laughs> Disney don't do no ugly actors. But all the people that were in the show were attractive, extremely attractive. Okay. So, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, oh, we have some haters in the building. I know, I know what they look like, too. Ignore Steve. He has a rat as a picture. Okay, yeah. Low vibrational. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, already, we already know the low vibrational beings that come in here to troll. They have no life. They have nobody to talk to or whatever. This is, this, maybe we help them vibrate higher so that they can know that they exist. Who knows? Um. <laughs> <laughs> high self is okay I'm just going to show that Okay, it's not hate it's fact yeah that sounds very legit it's fact okay well how come they didn't get approved you know what you know how many let me, let me, let me say one thing about this and then I'm going to let it go Michael Jackson to me is innocent always will be there are countless countless people that have gotten off and didn't even have money because of who they know, their skin color, blah, 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 blah. So be mad at though be mad at the the system. Don't be mad at me. If the system can be bought off, if the system is biased, if the system is flawed, if the system didn't get justice back in the day when you should have gotten justice. You can't be mad at, you can't be mad that it failed now. It's been failing. <laughs> anyway, David Jones, you're a very dirty man. <laughs> y'all, I'm not, I already, I, man, I've told y'all the whole alchemy behind Michael Jackson, like on so many videos. It's spiritual with everything that he did from his looks to everything. It's a true spiritual journey. And you have to be able to understand the things that I talk about in order to understand that. Otherwise, you're just going to be like on surface level thinking, which I can't really get into and explain everything from scratch. You know, you got to be a huge MJ fan. You got to be a follower of alchemy and Hermetics to understand exactly why he did what he did. And I keep telling you guys, he did the reverse of what a certain people did to get ahead. But he still <laughs> won, basically. Go watch my older video. I mean, not my older video. A couple of, I think, how many times do I have to explain it in every video? Like, it seems like I explain it in every video. Okay, well, go watch those other videos and you'll see it. Even when I was a kid, I did not believe it. You didn't. <laughs> but you know who does every day on a daily basis. You know why Donald Trump shines light on the border and all these kids being taken and sold into trafficking. You know, that stuff been done by these people that you probably vote for, that you 
probably look up to and praise. But then when people try to shine a light on it, you ignore those people who are really doing those things. And you admire them and you vote for them and you send them your money. And so... <laughs> When people shine a spotlight on a specific topic, it's to bring awareness to a topic. With the self-sacrifice to bring attention to a topic. There you go. <sighs> Soul I, are slaves ugly? I don't know any slaves, darling. I don't know any slaves. I wouldn't know. You're so right, Ashira. Yes. Right. The MF in Hollywood rape and sacrifice kids on a daily. They sure do. And y'all, you know, they keep it secret and hidden. <laughs> do we need to have kids as a bloodline to able to reproduce? Better safe than sorry, I always say. If people are doing it and having secret kids, I think there's something to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> High priestess, you crazy. Yes, that was funny. Okay, anyway. Sure, my advice, any advice for me, I discovered I was a victim of my ultra, of my MK ultra, now I'm leveling up still. What? A victim of what? Girl, transmute that stuff to you got some extra information. You know what I'm saying? No one's a victim. You just got some inside information, baby. Use it for what you can use it for. Mm -hmm. I want to create a signature makeup look for every day, but I need a makeup artist to show me how. There are countless on YouTube. Just go type in makeup tutorial. They will go step by step, tell you what products to buy. You can put it in slow motion. That's free, too. Once you're dead, you're brown bread, you ain't coming back. No, that's you, David Jones. You ain't coming back. Mm -hmm, you did. People are waking up this age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Hello, I love watching you daily, and I'm leveling up. Oh, thank you, Centria. Centra. Um, I wanted to ask you about family quarrels, and how not to be so attached. I can't see my niece and nephews, and it's hurting me. So, like, girl, go get your life. Go get a life. Go see some men. Go out and be seen yourself. You know, go make some friends. Go go meet a husband and have some kids, baby. What you doing? <laughs> see y'all, make some, make some children. Then you can see them every day. Here's my thing. Too many people are worried about Con people cannot control you. They will try. They will try to break your spirit to control you. You need to be free. Go go get you some level up cosmetics. <laughs> Shameless plug. Go put your makeup on. Go put your best outfit on and go out and get you a husband. So you don't have to worry about look, looking at other people's kids. Seeing other people's kids. They didn't cut you off. That means go get your own family. Okay? Go get your own family, baby. Go make one. Go get you, go get you a man. Make sure you got more money than them people that cut you off. Make them mad too. Go have your own kids. Sure, should you show your spirituality through fashion or hide it? Well, it depends. I would hide it first. And it will come out much later on. <laughs> hide it because you don't know who they are. You don't know their feelings about certain things. As a person gets to know you personally, you can change their entire perspective. You know what I'm saying? So ease into that. Ease into that. They don't walk around like a spiritual Christmas tree. You know, stuff dangling and jangling. Don't do all of that. Until after you're comfortable and with the person that you're going to be with and, you know, you're good. Don't be jangling and jangling, you know. Go in, go in looking beautiful. You know, you can have little little trinkets here and there, a little necklace, a little bead, a little earring, but don't wear it like a flag. Okay, 
<laughs> wear little bits and pieces of it. So people just like, oh, that's beautiful. Where did you get that? Oh, I travel. You know, um, like, oh, that's, I love your ring. <laughs> you know, oh, yes, thank you so much. You know, they just think you, you need little small trinkets. And when you want to be full spiritual boho or witchy or whatever you want to do, bring that out after that person is there to stay or you're alone and hanging around your friends who are also the same way. But don't bring it out when you're, you know, daily dating a new person or whatever, whatever. Bring it out later on. <laughs> okay. Not to imply everyone here is ghetto. Oh, Mandy's back at it. Like she's the, she's the, um, authority on what's ghetto or not. Girl. Bye. Um. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm still binge watching your videos this year. Oh, thank you. Nicole. Okay, so if men, if, if the men are going to be truly attracted to divine ladies, divine feminine women, there's going to be something that is attracting them, whether it be curves, facial features, hair, you know, makeup, colors, nails, whatever. It's going to be something feminine. Just like, you know, women are attracted to masculinity. So makeup also adds to your femininity as well. If you if you want to see more feminine, add some makeup, add some lipstick, add, do your nails. You know, a lot of women are mistaken as lesbians who aren't even lesbian. No, you know, nothing against lesbians, but a lot of women who are straight get mistaken for being a lesbian because they are not feminine looking enough add some makeup add some jewelry add some color you know so um i remember one time this one i was i was talking to this one lady and she was my niece's friend and i i didn't know if she was a lesbian or what because she looked and dressed very masculine but she um she wasn't and I was confused because she was very natural and I couldn't tell. So I automatically assumed that she was lesbian and I put her in that category and I was like, you know, um, I was like, oh, when she mentioned that her, she had a husband or something or a boyfriend, I'm like, thinking she had a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> it fools a lot of people because they don't see the feminine aspect of what most feminine women look like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's feminine lesbians out there, but I'm, I'm thinking, I'm talking about the butch lesbian. I thought she was a butch lesbian. And I was like, well, why don't she wear makeup? Why don't she wear nice clothes or feminine looking clothes or whatever, whatever. So don't let, like, you could be looking for a man, but they might not think you're straight. So if, if a lot of women are very natural and can't find a man, it could be that they think that you're not looking for a man. You know what I'm saying? So perhaps try a little bit, um, you know, more jewelry, more feminine colors, makeup, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you, some people just might not know. You're welcome. Some people might think you you got a girlfriend for all they know. You know, so you don't know. Just just put it out there. You'll see. My niece is a lesbian and I love her. She has more love than most so-called Christians. Exactly. You know, um, Anybody who hates on people because of, you know, their preference is stupid anyway. We already know Mandy Dumb. Um, 
Yeah, Egypt is the perfect example of beauty and divine and spiritual um, coming together and merging as well as technology. You know, um, they had the looks, they had the technology, they had the, the wealth, they had everything in divine cosmic order. Okay, so look at that society. It lasted the longest because everybody was looking good. Everybody had money. Everybody was spiritual. Everybody was representing themselves in the divine. You know, so that would be the society that people would want to um, copy, if anything. Okay, because it lasted the longest. If you were gonna, if you were gonna look at any civilization in in the history of recorded history, you would look at that one, and that's the same one that most other countries and cultures have copied as far as their belief system, their um, buildings, and all of that. Why? Because it was the one that lasted the longest and built on divinity, built on um, cosmic order. So it goes back to cosmic, cosmetics, you know, all of that. It's divine. So don't look at it as shallow. Don't look at it as, oh, it's fake, it's low, low self-esteem. No, it's cosmic, baby. It's cosmic. <laughs> because you don't understand the true power of it. You don't understand that that came from the, you know, from above. That's not your fault. Now I'm telling you. Now you know. <laughs> you guys just tricked Mandy into telling us what we already know she must be. We don't care. We know. We think Mandy got and ate too many moth balls, baby. When she was a baby, she didn't swallow too many moth balls. She on here. <laughs> Let her be in here, you know, affirmative action. <laughs> Whatever. Um, she were, can you talk about total, total solar eclipse and new moon? I know there's going to be a black moon, which is like two new moons in a month in uh, July, it falls on Layla's birthday, July 31st. So that's gonna be interesting, it's very rare. Mm -hmm. Nothing radiates higher. <laughs> that's right, yep, that's what you are. How can you be a Christian and hate Jews? I don't know. I don't hate anybody, but I'm not a Christian. But I think you're talking to Mandy. Mandy hate everybody. She ain't. She ain't even a Christian. <laughs> if she knew what Christian meant, she wouldn't even be a Christian. We're just gonna let her be in her confusion, you know. Um. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is the solar eclipse at five thirty. Hey. Yeah. July the 2nd, getting close, y'all, getting close, <laughs> she would do you celebrate Christian holidays like Christmas, Christmas been around before Christianity, baby, it was called something else, <laughs> and when did Jesus have a Christmas tree, let me ask you that, so, Saturn, right? Do Christians celebrate pagan holidays? That's what you should be asking. Yes, they do. <laughs> Y'all be asking stuff in reverse. That's the true question. Do I celebrate Christian holidays? <laughs> well, do Christians celebrate pagan holidays? <laughs> Here's your answer. 
Your birthday is July 31st too, L. Marie. Uh, you and Layla got the same birthday. And her name started with L too, right? Leo's in the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yes, I celebrate Christian holidays because Christians celebrate pagan holidays. <laughs> so guess what? No, not a beat missed. Um, hi, Shira. I want to be a part of the level up group. Hey, okay. Um, write me on my Etsy, my link below in the, in the description. Okay. Just hit my Etsy store. It's like a dark realm, a sure star goddess on, on Etsy. There's a part where you can message me. Okay, Layla will be the first Padua to turn to Christ. No, she won't. <laughs> Believe me. She already knows what it means, so she'd just be doing it for the <laughs> for somebody else and to get their money. But uh, if you already know what something is, if you already know what something is, you don't turn to it if you are it. Only thing she can do is turn to the mirror, baby. And I don't know how many times to tell Mandy. She don't know what a Christ is. Big dummy. How, how can you not know what a Christ is and you're a Christian? <laughs> they say, what's your thoughts on pro-black Christians? Anybody that's putting a label on themselves has limitations. That's my that's my thing on anything. You putting a label on yourself, you got too many limitations on you. Why not just teach information and let people make their own decisions? You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's not afraid to teach and allow people to make their own decisions without putting a bunch of rules on them. That's the people you need to be learning from. Not somebody that's trying to put some rules on you. You know? Mm -hmm. Hate went, hate won't get us anywhere. Exactly. Oh. Manny's here to cause confusion. You all know she's a plant. Y'all know she... she <laughs> Mandy's here to cause confusion among, among us. We don't care, Mandy. <laughs> we still gonna be here and we still gonna talk and we will let you stay so you can um uh, so you know so you can report back to your people or whatever. <laughs> we won't let you go out of failure, Mandy. You can lie and say you converted us. That's gonna help you. Whatever, on your church cult circle, whatever. If you pay me like a hundred dollars, I'll get on camera saying that I gave my life to Christ. And you can show it at your church for brownie points. I don't care. Just give me some money. Um <laughs> I'll do it for you, Manny. It's gonna cost you a hundred. I'll make you a commercial. Hi. I'm a sure star goddess. I remember when Mandy first came on my videos back in the old days. And she swore up and down. I'll be like, uh, what's her name that made the, the tarot cards? And got saved. What's her name? What's her name? See, I haven't got a name. The lady that stopped selling tarot cards. <laughs> Whatever. I can't. Doring virtue. Yeah, I'll do a Doring virtue for you, Manny, but the price got to be right. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on people who say homosexual as a mental illness? Everything is a mental illness, darling. Life is a mental illness. <laughs> That's what I say. If you really sit and think about it, everything is a mental illness. 
gluing other gluing hair to my eyelids is a mental illness. Okay. Sitting up here talking to a screen is a mental illness. <laughs> Jumping off a diving board in a pool is a mental illness. Everything is a mental illness. Where do you draw the line? Long ago, people that channeled were considered crazy or mentally ill or evil or possessed. You know, everything is a mental illness if you don't know the answer to the thing. They will just give it an answer. They won't try to figure it out. They'll just give it a name or a label until they can, because they can't figure it out. <laughs> so everything is a mental illness until somebody can figure it out. Perhaps you're more right-brained than left brain. Perhaps you're more left brain than right brain. Perhaps your feminine energy is stronger. Perhaps you were in, you know, perhaps it came from another reason, you know, some people turn that way because of something that happened to them when they were ch a child, something, you know, um, abuse. So there's many reasons, but guess what? It doesn't matter. It don't matter to me at the end of the day. You still got to get up in the morning, brush your hair, brush your teeth, take a shower like everybody else, get on with your life. So... <laughs> There's mental ill people walking around right now delivering your mail. <laughs> There's mentally ill people right now operating on a patient right now. So guess what? We live in a mentally ill world. Just be the best version of your mental illness that you can possibly be. Because I am. <laughs> Shira, what rituals would you suggest for the eclipse? Come together. Well, the eclipse is, you know, merging of two things. So whatever you want to merge together, merge it. Merge. Masculine, feminine thinking. Logical and creative thinking. You know. Marriage. Can celebrate marriage, do marriage spells and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with a, some type of merge, baby. Business um, partnerships, right? So there you go. Merging the heavens and the earth. Merging the physical and the spiritual. You know, you can do like a, um, a beauty spell. You could do a spiritual um, intuitive, you know, you know, increasing your spiritual intuition, um, merging your spiritual beliefs with your physical being. Um, material with the spiritual that's it see how it all works together because that's what raising your frequency is about if you raise your frequency only one in one aspect or it doesn't count it has to be in all aspects you know for example you can raise your you can raise your level of spirituality and you can learn so much. You can meditate. You can know everything. But if the other stuff is in, in order as well, like your um, your finances, how you carry yourself, how you look, and all those kind of things, only one aspect rises, you know. But if you had everything in the correct order, working in divine order, then a whole self rises, and a whole self rises to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So you have to make sure that you're 
rising in all areas. Thank you. Yes, Sunia. Just want to say thank you. You've helped me connect so many pieces to the puzzle. Cosmic order indeed. Thank you. So, right. Come on. Y'all Y'all can't just, you know, it's just like when you try, your kids are in school and they have to pass the whole grade. They can't just pass one class. They're going to still get left behind. Oh, um, I did good in, uh, I did good in art. I did, I made it a hundred in PE, but I failed math. I failed chemistry. I failed uh, P, uh, not PE. I mean, that would be, but I, but at least I passed this. Well, that don't count because you're still in the seventh grade. You're still in the fifth grade. Okay, so you have to level up in all subjects, in all, in order to be truly going to the next level. Um, that's why you see so many people that are scared away from the spiritual lifestyle because they see so many people that haven't gotten any. Well, I'm not getting ready. To, I'm a Christian. I'm not getting ready to switch to spiritual because y'all still broke over there in spirituality. I'm broke over here in Christianity. So why should I switch? I'm just be broke either way. No, you know, that's why you see a lot of um, pastors now preaching prosperity because a lot of people were leaving the church because they found a more spiritual way or the law of attraction or that echo, echo toll, toll house, whatever his name was, toll heart, whatever. You know, getting people in the mindset of vibrating on a higher frequency in mind, body, and soul. You know, this was written back in the old days, you know, ancient Kemet and alchemy and, and Thoth and all those people, you know. The secrets were finally decoded and written in plain English. And people started leaving the church for this, you know, for spirituality and the, um, the thing that kind of put a halt on it is when all of a sudden people started representing spirituality as, a, you know, being broke and plain. No, it needs to be represented in a way that people will gravitate towards it because, uh, thank you, Yahoon, Yahoon X, thank you for the donation. If it's attractive, people will come to it. You know, that's why they painted all these beautiful murals in the church and gave priests gold and silver uh, cups and thrones and, and, and junk so people could be attracted to it. That's why you have people in all these foreign countries rushing to convert to Christianity because they come with these beautifully decorated churches and priests that look rich and are drinking out of gold cups. They are attracted to abundance, not religion. OK, you take you go to a, a poor country and you bring in this giant building with gold and colors and glass and priests walking around and, and robes and all this kind of stuff. They see money. They don't see they see divinity because divinity is wealth. So it's not Christ they're turning to. It's not Jesus they're turning to. It's money. It's what they think religion will bring them. So it's not that they're <laughs> interested in this religion. They're interested on how to get to the money. Okay. Because the money equals divinity. And that's what it came with back in the old ancient days. Okay. If you look at all their ancestors, they had the gold. They had the divinity. They had the spirituality. They're looking for that again. And, and the church is bringing it in through lies. Okay. So whenever you see missionaries out and about, they're always dressed up nice, got nice clothes on, giving out free stuff. Because, oh, if you turn to Christ, you can have some money too. So, um, right. Oh, right. That's true. Like, you know, most of the temples and and the, the pyramids and the, and the things that were built were to um, point to the cosmos. 
they were not to say I'm divine. They were to say I am like the divine up there. I am like what came from there. You know, um, but yeah, so just think, you know, beauty, wealth, jewelry, and all those things is symbolic of divinity. Don't down it. Just try to understand it on a spiritual level. Hi, Sasha. How are you? You need to charge? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have seen it. Can I give it up? Yeah. Did y'all clean it up? Mm -hmm. Go take a picture. Then yeah. come back with it. I'll get you five, the five dollar. Thank you. Take a picture with the light on. <laughs> they were supposed to clean up a, a, a specific area. Did you say some is what? Um, perfumes are good. Yeah, yeah. Frequency, high frequency, jewelry, perfume, cosmetics bring you higher frequency. I live near an old Freemason building and I get strange vibes when I go near it. <laughs> That's because what you've been told. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what you think is also what you what you vibrate. So, if you didn't know what a Freemason was, if you don't, if you didn't know anything about what anything you would just walk past the building and not feel anything that's what you've been programmed to think you know just think of it like that you've been programmed to think that <sighs> hatred is so is powerful i use that to curse your hair to fall oh my gosh my hair is gonna fall off i'll fall off tonight like it does every night when i take it off <laughs> Anyway, I started reading Alchemy for Dummies today. I think that's so interesting. Jay, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Alchemy. Yes, love that book. <laughs> right. It's a weird girl, yes. Um, you're working on deprogramming. That's good. <laughs> you see this is why you never show your real hair oh <laughs> eyeball uh -uh -uh. girl they couldn't curse nothing if they tried Shira I want to ask you a question but I'm scared oh no don't be scared just ask I won't if it's a stupid question I'll be nice okay <laughs> love yourself Discover self, right? Mm-hmm. They be hating and cursing for no reason. I know why they hating and cursing. Because they can't hate, I mean, because they can't curse. So they make people think they can curse. But they can't. I be trying to curse to have curse. <laughs> How you doing? I love curls, girl. Oh, thank you. What fear going to serve you? Might as well ask, right? Hey. Entering into abundance, abundance and maintaining abundance is challenging for some. Why? I've given to a best friend and she appears challenged in this aspect. They don't know any. They've been programmed to be broke. I'm trying to tell you. That's what that was? Hmm? I found it. Oh. <laughs> She's, she's super programmed. She needs to get my book, Turn a Blessing into a Curse. Can you see that? Oh, thank you. Look, isn't this cute? You said you wanted a pet monkey. I did, thank you. You didn't say it had to be real. <laughs> it's cute. It reminds me of you when you was a baby. Look at this little hair. <laughs> the little hair. How long was I bald for as a baby? Because <laughs> it's bald. How long was I bald for? For like a year, girl. Tahuti. Yes. Um. <laughs> mm. 
But you use hateful energy. Demons love hate. Love hate. <laughs> they love hate. Interesting. I don't think you know what you're what you're even talking about, but okay. Demons don't love hate. They like making your vibration low so you can't leave, Dunny. <laughs> you the one that's been tricked and fooled. Shira, Alter, I started watching you. I did a spell for my neighbor, neighbor's cancer. I wrote the spell myself. She is cancer free now. Good for you. Hi. You healing over there, giggles. How you doing? That's good. Keep it up. Shakira laughing because he knows it's true. Or, Shakira, are you a girl? You a man? Okay, I see that. I'm trying to look at the profile <laughs> picture. I'm like, I'm talking to you all the time, and I'm I'm just like, you're just the soul being to me. <laughs> Look, look, go listen to the, the Kanye song, Love Lockdown. <laughs> they tricking you. They smart. That's why they call it. That's why the word demon means genius, because they, they're very smart. My mom said she seen a demon sitting on her bed. Hi. He said, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing? Okay, Shakir, now that I know, I'm like, because like, sometimes you be on here. And you say something, and I was like, I, I hope, because I call you him, and I click, I hope I'm, you know. So, yeah, okay, got it straight now. Thank you. I don't, I don't, see, I don't really ask because I'm just answering questions and talking spiritual stuff. So it kind of really doesn't matter. But now that I know, thank you for telling me so I can address you correctly. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um. Everyone who is triggered needs to meditate. I am triggered. Sasha triggered back there. She meditated. Okay, yeah. So anyone that wants, okay, here's the thing. Anyone that wants you to hate is tricking you to vibrating at a lower frequency so you don't ascend or get any information or vibrate on a higher a frequency. They keep your vibrations low. You don't ascend. Okay, when I say ascend, I mean in DNA, in frequency, in knowledge, in information, on a cosmic level as well as a physical level. The lower your frequency is, the easier it is for you to get sick, for you to catch cancer and die. So the trick for hating is on you. What? <laughs> so yes demons love hate because they get to keep your vibration low mm -hmm. now he's sitting there mad love is stupid Sasha said how dare you love is stupid a stupid is a stupid does as Forrest Gump says Michael Jackson says, love never felt so good. Anyway, love with the right people is not stupid. Thank you. And you don't have to love. You can just not hate. You know. <laughs> you can like. <sighs> How do you raise your vibration when you're feeling low? Make go put on your best outfit, some heels, and go walk around and take some pictures. Put your makeup on, get your hair, put your hair, look beautiful, do a little mini photo shoot, put some music on that you like. Uh huh. <laughs> put on an old song, remind you of your best days, girl. Get, get your frequency back up, and it's also a form of self love. Self love gets your frequency up high, too. So, um, love yourself. Right? She 
Shira, where can I buy Florida water in Florida? Legit Florida water. I don't know. Like, go look it up online. I'm sure there's somebody that can help you out with that. There's people that make it, I know. There's recipes online where you can make it yourself. You can buy the regular kind that they sell at Walmart, the cologne kind, or there's so many videos. I know um, San, San, Sanquista or Sanquisto Brujo Luis has so many videos on how to do stuff like that, making Florida water and stuff, different types of water, different types of... Uh, Incense and stuff, go find his channel. Sanquisto Brujo Luis. Sancisto. Sancista Brujo. <laughs> Y'all typing it all type of ways. I'm trying to read it. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Sancisto Brujo Luis. I said it right. I did I did a video with him. Um this is last year. Yeah, I love his channel. Like, he has a nice voice. Um, has lots of cool things and spell work and recipes. And Sancista. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Y'all go find him. He does some videos in Spanish, too. And um, um, English, all of them. He has like different videos. He does lots of book reviews as well. Okay. Shout out. God does not love you. That's okay because I love me, baby. I'm divine too. How you doing? Give him the give him the uh the ratchet click. <laughs> Okay, God only toys with you. That's okay because I like to play, baby. We love ourselves. We're starting with the man, aka woman in the mirror, darling. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, hold on. I'm going to get copyrighted. Mm -mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta cut that short. Oh, oh. It don't matter. Still got the same tune. They be mad at that. <laughs> Start with the woman or the man in the mirror. That's all. I so, say, you know, I, um, someone says, oh. I heard you don't go to church, you know, one of the mothers. I was like, oh, no, I don't go to church. I go to you. But if they only knew that what church was really for, it's like, all I got to do is go look in the mirror if I want to go to church, baby. How you doing? Um, Any tip for tomorrow's cancer eclipse? Yeah, do, do some meditation on things that you want to merge. Um, things you want to manifest and merge into transitions that you want to create something the better part of yourself that you want to merge um, into a higher version of you know concentrate on merging two things to become better mm -hmm. hate will assure you hate will assure that you won't ascend babe when I say ascend I don't mean oh, I mean mentally Physically or spiritually, your health would decline. More uh, people that truly hate, they're always sick. People that hate, they're always um, low vibrational frequency of having issues. People that have a lot of hate, then they never get on the good side of prosperity. <laughs> they're always on the broke side. Think about it. Haters truly never win because they can't. They can't vibrate high enough to win. They just broke and mad at everybody. I will be too. But I would finally, I would try to figure out how to get on the other side and get paid and get healthy 
and get somewhere else. <laughs> uh huh. So, Shira, isn't it true if you are supposed to worship yourself? Um, you are the temple, the divine temple. Hi, Layla. Close the door, baby. You always leave that open. True leeches are still leeches no matter how much human blood they drink. What if I hate men? You don't really hate men. You just don't like their actions. Mm -hmm. When a meteor crash into Earth, it won't matter. Yeah, it will. Because uh, some people will be able to... Um, Leave, some people will die with the meteor. So will I. <laughs> but you don't know that because you're too busy thinking about hate and trying to figure out some, some information. That's true. Think about it. If your frequency isn't strong enough to leave the planet Earth and it gets hit by a meteor, and you stay with whatever fragments, wherever fragments it went to or whatever electromagnetic frequency that attracts you the strongest that's where you're going not going you're not going to be able to go and leave that's a uh, frequency because your um, frequency is too low because you spent too much time hating okay. <laughs> mm hmm Shira always knows what to say. Huh? Look up old Trump videos. He never hated people of color. Exactly, exactly natural. He, he putting on an act right now. He's shining a light on certain things. He's trying to keep certain people's frequencies low. <laughs> he just like a demon. A genius. I'm serious. Y'all, he working. He work. <laughs> Trump is just like. Trump is making people hate more. And y'all know why. To keep people's frequencies down that need to stay down. Love locked down. There you go. Mm-hmm. Church came from Cersei. She lured people into her house of illusions. <laughs> the mirror. She is a construct of the media. <laughs> Trump is a deceiver. <laughs> He's a trickster, baby. Let the trickster trick. Let the trickster do his work. Okay? Let him do his work. Trump hates the poor. Everybody hates everybody. <laughs> Who should we vote for? Nobody, baby. Ain't going to be no vote. So, <clears throat> I'm voting for myself. I'm putting myself on ballot. <laughs> I'm going to be like Gary Coleman. Y'all vote for She Was Star Goddess. When I get into that office, I ain't going to do nothing. Just like I don't do nothing here. I'm going to be Oval Office in the background recording on my YouTube channel. Like I'm not doing any work today. War. I'm not going to war. I'm too lazy to go to war. Shayla J. Hi, Shira. I purchased half ounce phase one into you. Can I go to a full ounce? Yeah, sure. You sure can. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Shayla. Appreciate that. You sure can. No problem. Um, Girl, if I got in the White House, they'd be mad at me. They'd be like, uh, when are you going to do anything? I'm, not, I'm never going to do anything. When are you going to sign these into law? I already wrote my own laws. <laughs> I'm working on it behind the scenes. <laughs> In fact, I'm going live today on YouTube to talk about these laws. The laws of attraction. No, no, the laws of correspondence. <laughs> the only laws I know are universal law, baby. Um, 
<laughs> well, they have nuke, nukes aiming at us. Oh, well. <laughs> They bluffing. They bluffing. Shoot. <laughs> oh, they just trying to get my attention. They want a date. Mm -hmm. All right, tell them I, tell them I fly out to, to see them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> tell them I'm. A, tell them to schedule me for next month. I'll be there. Tell them I like. This and this, that for denture. <laughs> okay. They don't want me to be president because I really would not treat it like a serious job ever. I, we don't we don't really need a president. If you really think about it, we even need a president. Like just think about it for one second. We don't need a president. We need happy people. Okay. We need fair laws. We don't need a president. You know, back in the old days when they had kings and pharaohs and things like that, those people represented the divine order of the cosmos, the divine universal law. They didn't represent any other stupid stuff. Okay. It's until men in other countries tried to invade ancient fair, ancient Egypt and try to get in and take and, and do this kind of stuff without getting the knowledge or without understanding the knowledge, without having the patience to ascend properly in their own human divinity. They wanted to hurry up and take it and have power. That's why everything went wrong. Okay? So when you have a divine person in charge, when you have a divine thinking person in charge who is master of self and is governed by universal law and you have a bunch of people who don't understand that constantly trying to get in and get the knowledge and invade and they want quick 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 then you have a problem so that's what our government is a result of people trying to get stuff done without universal law okay people that took information they didn't understand and know how to use so I would, if I had to become president, I would have to return universal law. Right. And Q is coming to Houston. Hey, Yasha Cloak. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> so. Yes, we were talking about um, cosmic, cosmetics, cosmos, beauty, the universe, and order. So that's where the word cosmetics come from. It's the word cosmic, cosmos, um, order from chaos. And it comes from the heavens. And it is a way to enhance your beauty. And beauty brings a higher frequency. So we were talking about how the ancients... Um, used colors, beauty, stones, jewelry, cosmetics to raise their frequency in mind, body, and soul. Okay. So we need to understand that and embrace that instead of, you know, only shining a light on one area or aspect of spirituality. It's the entire package. It's the whole package. Baby. Okay. So Keep that in mind. You can be spiritual, but you're not the whole package if you don't care for your divine temple, which is your body. If you don't adorn it, that's your body. And if you don't um, treat it as divinity, then, you know, if, if you're treating something divine, you're going to adorn it. You're going to bring um, universal order to it, which means you're going to put make it look, look nice, you know. So... People recognize you when they see you. 
When I say recognize, I mean recognize your divinity. Okay? We must unite together and leave this realm. Some people leaving already. Some people staying. It all depends on you as an individual. Okay, raise your individual frequency. You, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever been to the Garden of the Gods? The Garden of the Gods. There are many gardens of the gods. There's some internal, external, and different realms. Thank you, um, Yahoo X. Thank you again. I hope I'm saying it right. Thanks for the donation. Um, ah, well, a lot of people, you know, uh, like uh, I'll, I'll say this again. But I do take I do take a lot of time and I put a lot of energy into my um, appearance. I sure do. I put a lot of energy into my wardrobe, into my accessories and jewelry, makeup. Yes, I do because I I need to represent. You know, there's that part in that song that the Beatles wrote that Michael Jackson took and did 20 times better called Come Together. He said, got to be good looking because you're so hard to see. Come together. Got to be good looking because you're so hard to see. That right there represents divinity. Okay. And the reason why, um, yeah, I like that song. So, Shira, have you read the Kabbalion and Book of the Dead? Oh, gosh, yes, I read them. Right here. Read this. This was easy read. I should have read this first. <laughs> I was going to the complicated stuff first. If I had read this first, everything else would have been so much easier. <laughs> I promise. I was like, oh, why didn't I find this first? But if you're a beginner, read this first. This is in plain, regular old English. No code whatsoever. Very good place to start okay um <laughs> wish i had known but hey I, I like a challenge um that's why the dalai lama said to buy makeup to enhance your vibration it's yep yeah, it submisses the patriarch it sure does thank you who said that natural hole <laughs> It does. It it neutralizes it a bit. It gives you a little edge. You're so correct. Mm-hmm. Do you really trust them books? Isn't all truth within us and our dreams within? I don't trust books at all, baby. I read them and I already know what I'm reading. That's the beauty of it. Tell them. When you read a book and you already know what you're reading and it resonates with you and there's a click and you already knew this, they just, someone else verified it. Someone else put it in um, different words. You know how Oprah was always saying, I was always using the law of attraction my whole life and didn't know it. Don't trust them books. I trust myself. And when I see myself in those books, I, I understand that, um, I wasn't wrong. And then I trust myself even more. So it's about recognizing the divinity within as well as without. Okay. <laughs> That's it.
Books help solidify current beliefs in live chats like this. <laughs> well, I wasn't really talking about the book, but someone asked me about it. Confirmation, exactly. Um, the Black Sun. Yes, that's a good. That's a good alchemy book as well. Thank you, Lundy. Those mummies are dead. I know. Tell tell me about it. But they still have some some special properties too, and that's why people eat them. <laughs> if you only knew half of what you think you know, you might be somewhere by now. <laughs> right. Dead is dead. You are correct. You will die when you die. You you gone, so uh you gone. You gone. I promise you. No, 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 he gone. Let him die because we don't need him back. <laughs> We really don't. Let him go where he's supposed to go, off into the nothingness. Okay. I get the feeling you're a pretty racist, miss. Oh, well, when did I get in power to oppress? David Jones. When did I become so powerful to oppress a bunch of people? Because I didn't, I didn't realize I became that powerful. But if I did, then I will uh, surely apologize for... <laughs> Shira, are you anti-abortion? I'm anti-stupid. Okay. If I'm anti-anything, it's just anti-stupid. I promise you. That's the only thing I'm anti. Anti-ignorance and anti-stupidity. Uh, everything else, I don't care. <laughs> anti-ignorance and anti-stupidity. I could deal with most everything else, but don't bring me no stupid person. Don't bring me no idiot. No, uh, don't bring me an ignorant person because that is what gets me. I have to, that's one, that's the last thing I got to work on. That is my last thing that I must work on. Ignorant people. I must just let them be. Um, <laughs> the most dangerous place is in the womb. But why come? Not anymore. When you're dead, lights out. Yep, lights out, soul, for you. Lights up for me. Lights on for me. Um, God is dead or maybe he was never alive. Your God is dead, baby. I'm still alive, so I'm good. He don't even know what channel he on, do he? He's so silly. <laughs> he just tuned in and don't even realize when he's what we already have been discussing for so many months. The Black Sun, Peter Moon, everything we've been talking about is in that book, no question. Yeah. <sighs> Mandy always trolling. That's her job. She get paid to troll. I hope you get paid to troll because you sure are putting in a lot of hours. Yes, mystical lady in her hearts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All the energy in here better go pray. <laughs> Her better go pray. But anyway, so just vibrate your highest. If you're feeling low, the fastest, easiest way to make yourself feel higher for a long period of time is to look good, look your best. Yeah. You can't be sad looking cute. <laughs> that right. So more book suggestions. Oh, that's what I got behind me. I'll suggest whatever books are behind me, y'all. I'm just gonna pull them out and whatever I pull out, that's what I suggest. Nikola Tesla, my inventions and other writings, become the force. 
Nine lessons on how to live as a Jedi master. Here you go. Even though I'm not a Jedi uh, into Star Wars, I have some um, universal truth behind it. Sciencia. This is a good book. Sciencia. Boom. What else I got my heart in? Oh, yeah. So I see. The Ways of Hermes or the Corpus Hermeticum. This is good. And those are some good books. No Bible? Mm -mm, I don't keep a Bible down here. I have a Bible in a box deep buried in a closet. Um, I have to look online for Bible verses. <laughs> the, the writing too small. The page is too thin. It's just, I'd rather just look it up online. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true, Ashira. I make all my products. I wear on my temple and my screen as well. As yes. No fret. Are you going to do a review on Midsummer? I'm not going to do a review. What is that? Did I do a review? What? You need to consent you need to consult the King James Version. Um, I don't need to do anything. I do what I want. <laughs> Can you tell me why the Book of Enoch was removed? Because it has a lot of information in it that allows certain people to understand the divinity. Okay. Movie by D. You're talking about the book. Um... I haven't seen it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Reminds me of the Wicker Man from the preview. But haven't seen it. What am I currently reading? I read so many things all at the same time. I go, I go from book to book to book. I read the same books over and over and find new things in them on a daily basis. Um... Last book I was reading was this book, Science Y'all. I don't read from cover to cover. I go through and read, like, for example, I just flip on a page and, like, oh, this looks interesting. And I read that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <sighs> Death is not the death is not the great equalizer. It is the great uh, death is the judge, baby. If you go back to ancient Egypt and the walls, when when you die, there's a pair of scales there and a heart with a feather. That is ain't nothing but electricity and frequency. The heart is the uh, the electricity, the pump that works off of what electricity. The feather is what the frequency. So if your heart chakra, if your frequency of your heart chakra is high, you get to pass through. If it's not high enough, if you hate it, if you had a lot of hate and regret and guilt in your life, it's going to be low. It's not going to balance. It's not going to equal out. The feather is the plasma collector. You're not going to be able to ascend. So... Your love will be locked down. You will be not, death will be the end for you. Those who understand this, understand that death is the end for many, many, many people. Not all people, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. woo, woo, woo. How do you give you, how do you forgive yourself for abortions? Transmute. Transmutation. Oh, sorry. Transmutation of what your life would have been. You know, transmutation is that there are no mistakes. There are only choices. Um, you know what I'm saying? All is mental, all is mind. Perhaps it was to create a way for you to learn transmutation. And to raise your frequency. You have to think in terms of frequency. Think in terms of frequency, nothing else. 
If you don't think in terms of frequency, you're going to get sucked back in. Okay? Raise that frequency up. How many soldiers do you know that went and killed people? Do you think they sit there regretting every day? Oh, I done shot some people and bombed some people. Oh, I did it for my country. That's transmutation. Even though that's a lie, they believe it. Therefore, they have less guilt. Okay? Learn to use your frequency. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, that's it. Transmute it. Come up with the reason why you did it that you're okay with. I'm okay with it. Okay. So let's say you had an abortion because you weren't ready to have a kid because you didn't have no money. You were going to be poor and the daddy was this and the daddy was abusive and he was going to be around. Okay. So you did it so that your life wouldn't go down the drain. Okay. So you did it for self-love. You can, you can live with that. God gave his only begotten son. To, okay. Think about it like that. Come on, transmute. Transmute it, baby. Learn to use everything for your advantage. You have to transmute. Mm hmm Okay. Alchemist mentally. Yes. Ashira, so damn smart with the dirt, the talk hustling. <laughs> hey, that's the only way to escape. You know, every time you see a movie and somebody has to escape or beat the villain or whatever in the world and get past a certain thing, and they have to outsmart them. That's the only way to get out. To trick the trickster, baby, through transformation. That's the key. You know. Trick the trickster through transmutation. That's it. Get up out of here. Don't matter what you did. It ain't real, right? And you know, this is an illusion. This is tricks the trickster. It's an illusion. You ain't did nothing. All you did was that. Thought you did something. Okay? At least you look good and did it in style. Now get up out of here. Transmutate. <laughs> okay? At one minute, this is the matrix. One minute, you feel guilty for doing something. One minute, it's an illusion. Which one? Pick a struggle. Which one is going to be? Is it an illusion? Is it real? Is, you know, which, which, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Pick one and go with that. For me, if all is an illusion and all is mine, then you can transmute yourself out of any type of guilt, karma, uh, whatever. Okay? You can vibrate higher. You can do whatever you choose to do. It's all your choice. It's all your decision. That's it. Okay? <laughs> hey. So, sure, you hear about the floods in Midwest, five Hall, Mexico, Mexico, Mississippi, and Arkansas River, 18th. Really? Wow, that's close to that's close to Texas. Yeah, we used to crazy weather like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, but hey. It's it's gonna get crazy, yeah. Mhm. Mm the Bible is the bestseller of all time. That's right. That's why it's free. They give out free Bibles. <laughs> As a trans woman, it's super spot on. Mhm. Mm Nah, I'm not going to let some troll talk about black women because I'm a black woman, Virgo goddess. Who who talking about? You talking about Mandy? Oh, she's a pay, she's an agent. She's she's in a, a church cult and she sent to my channel. She thinks she's on a mission from God like the Blues Brothers. She's mentally disabled and she's mentally ill, you know. We let her stay cuz she we know she bird boxing. <laughs> we don't want to be responsible for her her ultimate bird box mm -hmm. we don't want to be the ones the reason why she did what she did you know what I'm saying um
and you care deeply for the state state of our souls. No, you don't, Mandy. You don't care for our souls. You care about your brownie points with your cult and your church. Okay, you trying to get to the next level of recruiter. <laughs> okay, y'all got y'all tunnel and stuff built yet? Yeah, y'all got all y'all supplies for doomsday? <laughs> you trying to get to cult leader, assistant cult leader. You'll make it one day, man. It's just not going to be over here. <laughs> yeah, she crazy. We don't We don't pay attention to her. Oh, she, look, she don't get attention from anybody at her house or anything. So she tries to come over here and get it. Mm -hmm. We haven't said anything about hating anybody on this channel, David Jones. Like, on, on not even on this video. We're not even talking, we're talking about cosmetics on this video. We're talking about cosmic cosmetics. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all are the only ones that keep bringing up hate over here. We just, we're trying to talk about looking cute and cosmic and divine. So even men can get up, you know, even cosmetics, for, you know, for women, men, adornments. That's why they like those little chains and little jewelry, little bling. That's y'all's adornments. That's y'all's divinity. You know what I'm saying? The little beard, the little. You know, so men can also show their divinity as well. You know, women use the cosmetics. Men use the uh, the metal and the shine and, the, you know, because it's masculine. And the hair, the beard, you know, or the clean shade. It don't matter. Whichever one you look best in, your skin. So, you know, the perfumes, the oils, the colognes. Everybody needs to be at their highest frequency as far as looks, smells. I mean, look at Erica Badu, y'all. You know, everywhere she goes, she got the, she got the, even if it's crazy looking makeup, she still got it on. And, her, you know, she always wearing her incense and oils and things like that. Um, very feminine, even though, she, you know, she's more on the uh, boho gypsy witch side of fashion which is nor probably normal for a Pisces woman anyway um it's her it's her um persona it's her style but she she uses all those things to create her cosmic divinity on earth and that's what we as women and men can do um, but we do have to work inside the realm of reality. You know, we're not all singers and YouTubers that don't have to go out to the real world. We got to, you know, do it to our own discretion, which means, you know, we, we have to do it according to the, our lifestyle. So just understand that that's part of your divinity and you have every right to use it and, you know, vibrate higher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, you can tell when somebody like that enters a room before you even turn around. You just, you smell something, the vibe changes. You, all of a sudden, here comes a divine being walking in. Smell good, look good. You know, enchantress or, you know, um, divine masculine just walked in the room. What? That's how you make your presence known on all levels. Not just this, not just this, not just, um, you know, the physical, but you feel it. You know, that whole, the whole essence of a person must get you on all three levels, mind, body, and soul. That's how you get that attention, that magnetism. That's that magnetism that you need, you know, um, Mm -hmm. Right. You can use crystals as well. You can use jewelry, makeup, fragrance, all of it. I tried to wear my oils and perfume and people be sneezing, girl. Gotta get some perfume. Maybe you combine the wrong smells. 
Um, maybe you did too much. Maybe simplify that formula. <laughs> okay. So Kylie Jenner is a divine being. Um, her makeup is cosmic. It she looks like one. Um, as far as uh, her cosmetics are concerned. But where did she get the idea is my is my question. Who had cosmetics first, darling? So, you know, you can you can be inspired by the divine. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's just the truth. Y'all trying to trip me up, but it's just the truth. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Mother. Cosme became, um, let Co Cosme. Kylie became a billionaire with Divine Cosmetics. So, Brianna finna hit it too. Why? Because cosmetics are what? Cosmic. Um. Shoot, I'm next. I'm trying to hit it too, child. <laughs> For real. For real. The word cosmetics comes from the word cosmic, cosmos, universe, universal order. Universal order is sacred geometry, beauty, you see. The whole idea of cosmetics comes from the heavens when um, the beings came down and taught women how to paint their eyes. The ancient Egyptians who painted their eyes, you know, cosmic beings, cosmetics. <laughs> mm hmm. So, nice hair. What do I use? A wig? <laughs> yeah, it's like a wig. Ain't it? Y'all go to wildwigs.com. That's where this is from. Uh, if y'all want to see my real hair, go to my old videos from like 2016. Actually, I have some 2017, 16, 15. I saw my real hair. Most of it. You'll see it. <laughs> um, Thank you. Use <laughs> use code Letitia to get ten percent off. L E T I C I A on why we use that code. Mm hmm. I like the clap. You like the clap back. Mm -hmm. So anyway. The Russian Barbie got famous for her looks, but she's actually a spiritual teacher and astral traveler. Wow. Cool, Megan. You're using all natural cosmetic stuff or it doesn't matter to you because I thought it was bad for your body. Um, all natural things? I mean, it's, it's cruelty free. Hey, Lamb. Close the door, please. Why do you always leave a crack for the cat? That's so sweet. She's not coming in. Yeah, she she likes to be upstairs. Right. Right, 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 right. Well, I washed the makeup right on off. You know, the ancient Egyptians didn't even use all, I mean, all natural stuff could still be toxic. Yeah, I mean, what? Is it safe? Are you going to live? <laughs> you know? People were putting metal and mercury and, and stuff all up on their eye. Going blind. Look, my stuff won't make you blind. How about that? <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> they're making makeup now that's beneficial and hydrating to the skin. They sure are. Mm-hmm. 
thank you. There's so much stuff out there now. You can get a makeup to make, you know, to make your skin look 10 times better when you take it off. Hey, Neutrogena, probably. <laughs> what about cold cream, girl? Old school makeup remover, hey? Old school in the house. <laughs> Shira, how do cats help your auric field? Ooh, they, um, they're good for absorbing the negative frequencies or the negative energies. And I don't mean negative as far as bad. I mean negative as far as balancing out the positive and the negative. You know, if we have the sun or 5G or, you know, all this uh, positive radiation coming in, Solar, which is positive, or you, a lot of masculine energy, a cat will balance that out because it's a negative energy. It's a negative frequency, not negative as far as bad, but negative as far as positive charge and negative charge because of their fur and their frequency. So um, it has more to do with electricity and frequency. Mm hmm. Your girl messing up your frequency. How do I throw what? Your girl makeup been make it messing up my frequency. How do I tell her to throw it out? <sighs> Hand her like a roll of money and tell her I will give you money if you stop wearing makeup because you don't need it. You are beautiful to me. Go buy yourself something nice besides makeup. And she will stop wearing makeup if you start giving her some money. <laughs> Give her some money, baby. Because when she wears that makeup, she gets treated very well out in the real world. And you're going to need to pay her to get treated mediocre again. So you're going to have to compensate her. Y'all know my answer wasn't going to be uh, how to do it. Okay. Y'all so scary up in here. Look, y'all so superstitious. Some of these people are so superstitious and scary. It's hilarious. I, I want to say stuff to make them scared even more. But that would be a waste of my energy. <laughs> okay, now you want a cat? You should get one. Especially the black cats. Black cats. Get a black cat. There. Mm -hmm. They got the highest frequency. <laughs> so I'm still laughing. Okay. Um. That's because they got the highest frequency. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Animals see many things which humans do not see for real. I know. Mm hmm What do I think of dogs? What do you think of dogs, Layla? Well, tell them what you think of dogs. I think they're good alarm systems. Good at scaring off burglars. Very loyal. Very loyal. Um, good protectors. Mm -hmm. So you can do anything to your body and it won't affect you in the afterlife. Sorry, might still have Christian message. Um, what do you mean you can do anything to your body and it won't affect you in the afterlife? I don't understand what that you're talking about. Like, <laughs> um, I need like um, specifics. What do you mean? Like makeup, tattoos, what? Cat and dogs alike, masculine and feminine. Exactly. Since I believe in God, I can't be on a spiritual journey. Yes, you can. When you figure out what God is, then it'll make more sense anyway. So stay, stay on the spiritual journey. Stay on it. 
It don't matter what you think it is. Just stay on it. You're going to get somewhere anyway. You know? Don't let people tell. Huh? Do you think they can trust you with that? They, they don't have a choice but to stay on a spiritual path, you know? A religion is a spiritual dead end. You need to stay on a spiritual path of continuous learning. You know, your religion should be knowledge. Now, you'll never go wrong with that. Okay. Oh, you didn't have to choose. You choose knowledge. Know thyself. Right. Seek knowledge. Seek knowledge about everything. Ask questions about everything. You know, open your mind to new things. Don't limit it. Don't limit your mind. Open it to all things. That way you have this and that. And that. And that and that and that. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't have to choose. You can choose it all. You can have it all, baby. <laughs> right. Would it be too late to go to cosmetology school and start a business with this upcoming future? Why do y'all, you can get on YouTube and watch about 20 videos and become a makeup artist, basically. No, but if you want a license to practice on people, yes, please go to cosmetology school, get your little license. But if you just want to learn how to do the makeup, you can, you can learn online. They have makeup courses online, like that makeup artists teach. If you just want to learn the art of it, I, in fact, that would be something that I could do in my spare time because I'm not really a makeup artist, but I could actually pay for, you know, classes online and learn from the true makeup artists on how to do stuff. That would be fun. Thank you, Alina Swans. I appreciate your donation. Mm-hmm. Why can't you just worship yourself? You don't need to seek power outside yourself. Well, that's what they got to figure out. Giggles, let them go on a journey to figure it out. You ever read The Alchemist? That mo the, uh, the book, The Alchemist by Paolo. What, what was his name? That's the whole journey is to find out that it's that is you. You go and look everywhere. You think what if you were looking for the source of the universe and you became an astronaut, got in your little spaceship at warp speed, finally got to the source and it was you. That was a waste of time. Oh, I did all this work for nothing. All I had to do is just look in the mirror and then I already saw the source. Exactly. Oh, so wow. let them go on that journey. That's the best way to learn. It doesn't matter. Let them seek. Let them find. That's the whole point of the journey is to understand that it's not without, but it is within. Right. Worshipping yourself is narcissistic. No, worshipping your image is narcissistic. Uh-huh. And who did, who did narcissistic... Um, what did the story of a uh, narcissist come from? Someone that was looking at their self in the reflection of the water, right? Did he hurt anybody? See, y'all giving it a bad. Y'all take, a, people take everything and turn it bad. But he didn't hurt nobody. He fell in looking at himself. <laughs> Did he hurt anybody? No. Did he like what he saw? The last thing he saw? Yes. Did he die happy? Yes. <laughs> okay everybody else mad because he because he died happy looking at himself who <laughs> mind your business how you doing narcissist died by looking at himself and he was looking so close he should have had one of them five X mirrors that you know you can buy at Walgreens. You wouldn't have to get so close to the water. Um, <laughs> but honestly, right, he was fine. I don't care who has a medical version of narcissistic personality disorder. How about 
it's called self-love and you mad because you ain't got none. Okay. <laughs> you mad because you ain't got none. You mad because you don't have all day to look in the mirror. You mad because you have to pass up somebody looking at themselves in the mirror while you got to go to work or do whatever you got to do. Don't be mad. Don't be hating. Let let them be. Stop trying to analyze them and label them because you don't understand them. Go go to work. Go, you know, go hate somebody. You know, go to church and tell them. Let them tell you some stuff. Don't hate on somebody that seems to be enjoying themselves or to knowing knowing themselves. How are you going to know who you are if you can't see yourself? Okay, everybody's so quick to, to label somebody, oh, narcissistic personality in this order. What about what about you? What are you? <laughs> Labeling everybody because you don't know who you are disorder. How about that? Go find yourself. <laughs> okay. 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 Go okay. find yourself. And then you don't have to sit here and label everybody else. Go label you. Okay. Too many people nowadays use that term narcissistic. Exactly. Shoot. What are you then? The know-it-all? <laughs> okay. You found yourself and I'm a demon. Okay. Okay. Well, congratulations. You found yourself. Which demon are you? And what are your talents? Look at look at Layla. Oh, we, I told her that was hers. You didn't let me have any. You still have your you still have your bow tie pasta from the restaurant from yesterday. Um, oh, you can go here. Just go throw it on the plate. It's in there. And uh, okay. Um. Everything is an aspect of yourself. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Exactly. Sasha's uh, <laughs> playing a little toy. Mm hmm So anyway, y'all just stop trying to label everything and go label yourselves. What are you? Label yourself divine. Okay, then you won't have you won't be obsessed with trying to label other people. No. Mm -hmm. So whatever you dislike, that's it. Nope. You're you're still in the mode where you don't know enough. You don't you know this much, and you're running with it. That's dangerous mode. You know, it's kind of like running with scissors. You figure out what scissors can do. Now you're running to show people, but you don't have all the information. You just got a little bit of information, and you're running with that. That's okay because that's part of the journey that's part of the journey everybody did it. everybody's done it i'm guilty of it everybody that can tell you they're guilty of it it's just a phase you'll get through it okay mm-hmm Carbon discovered by the Sumerians and the Egyptians. Wow. Okay. You were born December 6th. Wonderful. That means she's in Sagittarius. Could be. There is no above or below anything. All is within self. Good. You're welcome. Any champagne? <laughs> Oh, Ari Champagne. Why are you ignoring me? I'm not. I just read your thing. Hi. The only thing that divine you is greed and money. That's all you live for. No, I don't. I don't even touch cash, baby. Money is an object. Greed is when you want more than you can spend. Or want more just 
for having it. Okay. Perhaps you don't understand what abundance is. You keep, you keep making it an object when it's not an object at all. That's why you don't have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't talk about cash money. I talk about abundance. I talk about prosperity. You're talking about money and greed. You're on that level. I don't talk about money and greed. I talk about abundance. Yeah. That's why I have it. Because I know the difference between money and abundance. I know the difference between an object and a frequency. You don't. Ah, uh, learn it. Learn it before you try to burn it. You can't burn abundance. But you can burn money. Sure, if you could teleport to any place in the world right now, where would it be? Egypt. Sasha wants to go to Egypt, so we got to go there. Where there is here and here is there. You sound like Dr. Seuss, which is also a coded book. Um, right, right, right. He's he, he. Yahoo X. I understand everything. <laughs> right, right, right. Mm hmm. Decode Ariana G7 rings. I think you already decoded that. I think I decoded that. Like, like she's in this trap house, but it's a mansion. So you have the polarity of poverty and prosperity. Um, She's ratchet, but classy. You have the law of polarity there. And working in its divine, what you call it? Frequency. Taking the best of both and creating a higher frequency with it. Um... <laughs> Embracing both sides and making it work together. A merge. A merge of two sides representing each other at their greatest. Thank you, G-O-Y-T. Hey, Shira, can, how to make written affirmations work? Um, well, I would write them as if they're already done or that I already have them. So that you can vibrate in already having them. That way you will the frequency of having them will be sent out. And therefore the universe will have to react to you already having something, which means you will have it. Okay. Um mm -hmm. where uh, what are the effects of pyramids in Egypt? have today on the planet um the pyramids were ways for energies to get back into the cosmos and they were pointed towards a certain direction in the sky and the energies would be able to go in that direction after they were um properly uh, mummified and the energies were or the plasma, I would call it, would be shot out um, cosmically through um, an alchemical process that had to do with the sun, the water underneath the pyramid, the crystal inside the limestone, as well as the uh, king's chamber being activated by the solar energy. I enjoy your discussions all the time. Thank you. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Um. Just returned. Happy you're here. Oh, thank you, Gilbert. Thanks, Jarrett and everyone. <laughs> that, that's true, Jarrett. Say, I'm thankful. That way you're already in receiving mode and in thankful mode. Um, Do I have a pet? I have a dog and a cat. A chihuahua and a Bombay black cat. Mm-hmm. What do you know about the 72 forces of nature? 
Ooh, so 72 meters. Grateful. Mm-hmm. I hate cats. I'm sorry. I love cats. They're sweet. And vicious at the same time. <laughs> They're like the gremlin. Like it's cute, but you know it, it'll get you if you <laughs> that's the best kind. It's the most exciting thing. Um the 72 goetic demons. Ashura is stratosphere, middle heaven. It seems to me that it is. I would call anything outside of the earth heaven. I would call anything in the cosmos outside of the planet earth the heavens. Anything still in the atmosphere of earth is earth or sky. But in order to be considered the heavens, you have to be up there, way up there in the darkness. Okay. At my high school, we had a 17-year-old long-haired cat that lived on campus. Wow. We had a campus cat. I swear I just want all this negative emotion transmuted. Wish I knew what to do deep losses and regrets super deep regret. stop focusing on it it's done you can't rewind time just get over it you know what i'm saying like oh my gosh you like that there is no regret there's only thinking about what you can't change think about this you doing that on purpose that's you there is no regret it's too late you keep thinking about stuff you can't change. That means you are suffering on purpose. Stop it. Okay? Transmute that into wasted energy. You just you're wasting your energy. What do you what haven't you done that you will regret not doing? Focus on that. Have you started your own business? Have you made a lot of money? Have you met the right person? Have you reached your goals in other things, whatever, in your career, whatever? Have you done this? Have you done that? Have you traveled to where you want to? Let's focus on that. What you can do, what you, so you won't regret later. Now, I don't play no Fortnite. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a gamer. So stop living in the past. You can't change it. Let's focus on now. Okay. Could you please do a small video dedicated on books you recommend? <laughs> um, I have like three of them already. You just go type in books or Sure Star Goddess. And I'm sure they will pop up. Yes. Okay. Right. It's just true. You can't, you suffer, you're choosing to suffer because you're not focused on something else. You're choosing to suffer. You already did it. It's too late. Get over it. Look forward and, and do something that you won't regret later. Okay. I think some people get stuck and want to be caught. What they really want is attention or someone to assure them that they made the right decision. Look, if you made it, it was the right decision. Okay. If it's done, it was the right decision. Think about this for a second. If you already did it, it's the right decision. Now you have to trust that. Now you have to move forward, okay? Anyway. <laughs> what is Ashira's beef with Witch Patrol? I don't have any beef with anybody anymore. Mandy, stop trying to start beef again. I don't have any beef with anybody. You know why? Because I don't care enough. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care enough. I don't care. That's the whole point. I'm too I'm I'm too high for that. My frequency is too up high to care anymore about stuff way down here, baby. Um mm -hmm. I brought your elixir phase one should be here in a week. Yay, thank you. 
EKT, Tosun, Tosun. <laughs> do you have kids? Do you hear this pet monkey in the back? Toy. Yes, I have two children. <laughs> I have two children. I sure do. She called me to see where I don't care. Mandy, you, you understand. If a roach, a maggot, a worm, a beetle bug, a fly, a gnat called me anything, it won't faze me, baby. I don't care. Thank you, Kim R. Wow, you're empowering. Thank you. No victims. No victims, baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the donation, Kim. Like, I don't care what people call me way down here. I can't hear them, baby. I'm up here. <laughs> uh huh. You know the saying, Mandy? When you, uh, they can't hear you screaming for ice water and hell. I know you heard that one before, Mandy. That's how I feel. I can't hear them. <laughs> I'm high like John Legend. So high, my feet are scraping the sky. Okay. Um, I say that all the time. Good for you. Now you see what I mean. I don't I can't hear them. <laughs> okay. Um now just tuning in. Hello, she hey. I say oh, as long as they don't call me late for dinner, right? Mandy, Mandy could stay. Like I, I don't kick Mandy because Mandy is needed, whether y'all know it or not. <laughs> okay, remember when we talked about the ugly and the beautiful? We need, we need the, we need the opposite. Okay, otherwise we just talking amongst ourselves. Thank you. That's what I've been telling them all along. Yep. We need we need a crazy. We need we need this. Why? Because <laughs> obvious reasons. <laughs> okay. If you can't get if you can't stomach Mandy, you can't stomach life, baby. You can't how you gonna be in the real world and say you a spiritual soldier? Or a spiritual warrior, but can't take a Mandy. Okay. <laughs> Mandy's your sparring partner. Okay. That's a, we're sparring. Think of it like that. Okay. I, I, you know, I don't do victims. I don't really easily get offended. Because I know I can defend myself and teach at the same time. So that's the whole reason that I don't really mind. And I think it's good to, sh you know, if, if you can get triggered so easily, your emotions rule you. You understand? Instead of you ruling those emotions. So. <laughs> because my channel is boring, so you need Mandy. Well. If my channel is boring, she's the first one here and the last one to leave, so she must think it's pretty interesting. David, and so are you here. If it's boring, why are you still here? Mm -hmm. Some people are water signs, which make them emotional. They can't help it. I'm a water sign. I've mastered my emotions. I no, I just mastered my emotions. There's a difference. I mastered my emotions. You know how water signs have strengths and weaknesses? Well, if your strengths are already your strengths, why not make your weaknesses your strengths as well? Why not transmute those weaknesses into your strengths? Why not transmute your weaknesses into your strengths? 
Okay, you want to do some real alchemy? You want to do some real, gosh, you want to do some real self-actualization? Turn your weaknesses into your strengths. Take your weaknesses and your whatever your sign you're in. Go to your uh, zodiac. Look at all your weaknesses. Master them. Okay? And you don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Done. Natural host is done. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that should get done. That should get done. That should be on everyone's list. Master my weak qualities and my zodiac sign. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have thought I was a water sign because I mastered the weaknesses, baby. Oh, I have all the strengths. That's divinity. Do that. Go. Don't use your weaknesses as an excuse. Master them. Sasha was just showing me today her zodiac, my zodiac. And it was. It has strengths and weaknesses. And we were reading it. And when I started reading the weaknesses, she's like, "That doesn't sound like you." I said, "Yeah, baby, because I mastered them." <laughs> so master your weaknesses. You know what made me master my weaknesses? Someone, or oh, I had my chart done, you know, your astrology chart. And it, I like how they worded it when they said um, the uh, weaknesses you must, um, what did it say? It worded it something like um, traits and weaknesses that you must master in order to be at your best potential or something like that I don't know. and it gave the list of weaknesses it didn't say these are your excuses this is a list of things to master to reach your highest potential i like how they didn't make it like say oh these are your strengths and these are your weaknesses someone's clever wording got me to see things in a new perspective because they didn't say these are your weaknesses. They didn't give you a, a, a set of excuses. They gave you a set of challenges. And that's why I did what I did. So I want to pass that on to you guys whenever I talk about Zodiac and things like that. I'm an Aries. Keep talking. <laughs> hey. What if we like date one? Yahoo X, yes. What if we get one more? Get I like, get along with Aries, huh? What if you did like asking people what their zodiac signs are? Mm-hmm. That would be a good idea. Aries are confident. They like attention. Like to be heard. They don't shut up. They gotta prove their point. Hey. I guess that's a good thing, right? Those are their strengths. <laughs> We need y'all. Hey, Sagittarius. Yes, I'm married to a Sagittarius. Sasha's a Sagittarius. Who for the sex? We share a planet, Jupiter. See, Pisces has two planets: Neptune and Jupiter. Sag is Jupiter, so we share a planet. Mm-hmm. Water came from Jupiter. Hey. <laughs> that could yeah. Um, how I love how knowledgeable you are. Thank you, Chris Crystalla. Thank you, Kim R. What about gremlins? Oh, Gemini's. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, thank you, Kim R. That you know what? That was totally an accident. I did not mean to call Gemini's gremlins. I <laughs> I love gremlins. I mean, Gemini's. <laughs> See y'all messing me up. They they make really good friends for Pisces, but not husbands or gremlins make really good friends. Gemini's. <laughs> Prince is a Gemini. Kanye West is a Gemini. Y'all know I love me. Kanye West is a Gemini. I went out with a Gemini in high school. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. It's like, because I'm so far away. I just see G-R-I. I just see G-I. You know, the G-E-I. I just, you know, it all runs together on the screen. <laughs> sorry. I love Gemini's. I love Gremlins, too. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you know there's the Aztec zodiac, the African zodiac. Of course. Uh the Native American zodiac. Mm -hmm. The Indian zodiac. Someone did my zodiac for for um what India? I, I said I was the snake or whatever in that one. The Ash Hey. New coffee mug, shirt alert, gremlins. I love gremlins. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do natal charts create our reality? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, the stars in the sky, the picture of the universe, the exact moment you were born can give you a lot of insight but everything else is free will to an extent of your consciousness. Ooh, I know that's deep. Anyway, so I had my chart done and it said a few things that came true. Like a lot of things that came true. It said, um, I will always have a Leo advisor. Leo. I had a Leo advisor in my past life. I will have a Leo advisor in this life, which I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leila, <laughs> obviously. I will be taken care of my whole life. I have been. <laughs> Seriously, that's what my natal chart said. I will, I will always be taken care of financially. Ain't gonna lie. Um, and it, the one thing it did say, it said my challenge in life would be becoming independent. And I've already accomplished that. I, I you know, as far as um, finance, already accomplished it. Master of self. <laughs> Only one thing that still gets me is ignorance, though. That's why I teach. So um, I've already accomplished the ability to be independent, but I will always be taken care of. Good to have options. But I can take care of my kids now. You know, I can leave them something. I can leave them a will instead of a won't. Their dad will too. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm taken care of, I gotta look after the next generation. But try to master all of your weaknesses. Okay? And whatever your chart says that you have to, that's gonna be a challenge, master that. Focus on those things until you master them. And then you ascend that, you know? How about? Mm hmm So if being ugly is your weakness, throw some makeup on. That's right, natural hope. Makeup, do some little look cosmetics, y'all. Here, y'all can use these brushes to apply the makeup. You don't have to throw it on your face. You can use these. Level up cosmetics. Y'all see my pyramid? Your palette is over there. Oh, my palette is behind me. That's just the box. Yeah, yeah. Just some natural to the top level up. Stay dust free. <laughs> Look, my shameless plug. You got all the colors. You got the whole electromagnetic frequency spectrum up in here. <laughs> I had to I had to fit it in, y'all know. So you don't have to throw the makeup on. You can, you can apply it with tools. The proper tools. Okay. My link is below for my store. Mm -hmm. Need some lashes. Need some lashes. You gotta, we gotta outdo those Egyptians and get you some lashes with that eyeliner. You see. We got the eyebrows. They had the eyebrows and the liner. Now we got the lashes. Level up. <laughs> I'm being silly, but hey, I have self promotion. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, we 
We one step ahead. We got highlight and lashes now. <laughs> Two steps. <laughs> yep. The Egyptians didn't have these. Or it is. We got it though. Come on. <laughs> we bring it up a notch. Hey. I guess wearing horse hair is considered pretty. Yep. Go to the ancient, go to the ancient Egyptians. They they wore wigs as well. It was a sign like if you were bestowed a wig by one of the uh if you were given a wig, you were that was a divine honor, especially because it represented the divine goddess. <sighs> know your history. My Mm-hmm. Okay, sure, do you think we actually be able to see Saturn? Yes, you're supposed to be able to see it with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. They say you you should be able to see it with like some binoculars or you zoom in on your phone. Yes. You're supposed to be able to see it. Um Happy July first, everybody. This is only the start. Are you excited to see what happens? Or are you scared? Sasha back there trying to talk. She said, are y'all excited for July? It's yes. July. Why is seeing Saturn important? Because we're going to have to see it for the rest of our lives. Because you can always see the sun. Day or night. Saturn used to be our sun, baby. It's going to be your sun. Oh, go watch my Saturn video, y'all. There's a lot of good information in there. Just type in, she was starring on a Saturn. It's going to pop up. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep your heart light as a feather. Exactly. Don't let people, you know what? This is why I love my trolls, baby. They make yeah. me laugh. I transmute their negativity into comedy, into knowledge. You see, they don't they don't phase me. They make me greater. Use your enemies as your footstools. That's in the Bible. Step on them. Step on them. Step on them. Step. step on Get them. higher, baby. Use them to make other people happy. <laughs> It's you truly have to be an alchemist to understand this and not fall into anger, fall into teaching or fall into transmutation into something more positive. Okay. Turn lead into gold, basically. You know. And I think that's why a lot of people enjoy this channel because just by dealing with trolls, there are lessons in how to deal with the trolls in your real life. There are lessons in, tr in how to deal with people coming at you with um, harsh words or, or um, negativity or prejudice or whatever, you know. It doesn't bother me anymore because I know who I am. Okay. Right. Once you know who you are, it's, it's funny when people... Talk crazy to you. It's it, after that. It's just like playing. It's just like being roasted as a a celebrity. <laughs> you know how they uh, sign up for the celebrity roast, and you so famous. Now people could come and, and roast you. That's how I feel. I'm, I don't even feel famous, but that's how I feel about how I deal with trolls. I take it all with a light heart, with a laugh, with comedy. You know, I I I laugh. I turn it into humor because I feel like why not it's too easy they 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 set it up and I knock it down okay um do y'all think and no one thinks that everybody knows it's, it's a lie they couldn't even prove it 
they just want to ruin the most famous person in the world's legacy because they he he ain't what they was. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Transmute that hate to laughter. Ha ha ha. Mm hmm So the trolls don't bother me. I just like I like um playing with the trolls under the bridge. Um the best way to disappear from the public transition into woman. It's natural how you ain't lying. The best way to rob a bank too. Mom, don't you be promoting that. No. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Dad. I'm not. Sasha said, don't, don't. That's already been done, though, Sasha. People already figured that out. Mm hmm Anyway, like, I was like, if I'm going to rob something, I'm robbing it as something totally different. You you really want to mess them up, you rob them as an androgynous person. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> we don't know what it is. <laughs> Suspect was wearing... Okay. They don't know what it is. They can't say if it's a man or a woman or a man dressed like a woman or a woman dressed like a man. They're just going to be chasing after everything. Shoot, they need to send a, uh, they need, they need to send in a androgynous midget. <laughs> of an ambiguous race. <laughs> Okay. How to deal with people taking credit for your work in the workplace. Get your own workplace. Start your own business, baby. That's what they do over there. It's time to leave. I always say you are putting in work for a whole nother company, a whole nother group of people. That's you you can't take credit for nothing. Everything you do is for that corporation, baby. You want to get real credit? Start your own business. Be a consultant. Start your own stuff. You know, be a contractor. But as for me, they don't care who's fighting over credit. It's all going to the same source after the work is finished. As long as my paycheck coming in, I'm good. You know, I don't, that's why I don't work for people because that's what happens. Sure, you should do a <laughs> Nick Nash. I don't think so. Okay. Um, right. You know, so, so many people don't realize that all the talent and skills that they have that they're giving away to other companies can be put towards your own stuff to make money. Okay. You, you heard the new Michael Jackson album that came out a couple of days ago. No, I haven't. The new Michael Jackson album came out. Hey. I'll go look at it. I don't think it did though, because I would have saw something. <laughs> yeah, I would have I would have been notified. Um Taylor Swift doesn't own rights to her music. <laughs> Cause somebody else own it. Michael Jackson, hi. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Royal Series Gladys. Have a good evening. Thank you. So anyway, I think I'm going to end this video. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you got the message. I had fun with y'all trolling and answering questions and teaching and learning and Doing whatever we do. <laughs> Transmuting. Taking away victimhood. 
giving back power. What else do we do? Yes. Sometimes I'm tough, but that's needed because somebody, y'all, somebody hadn't been tough enough to you. I talk about a lot of things that most people don't dare touch on because they're too worried about what people think. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I'm not running for president. I don't have a job. And what else? I don't have to be politically correct. Only within the guidelines of YouTube. <laughs> so, hey. That's the best I can do. Do you be live all night? No. I'm about to retire for the evening. Thank you, Kim R. Good night, goddess. Uh-huh. Thank you. JY from the street. <laughs> um, <laughs> meet me at the London. That's a J. Cole song. What the hell? I will be wearing your cosmetics for my wedding in October. Oh, thank you. Hey, I'm about to, I'm also going to come out with a uh, autumn fall palette as well. So, and that's going to come out for October, girl. So maybe you can get that one too. Maybe the, the, it's going to be a very fall theme. Fall wedding sounds beautiful. Congratulations. I would love to have a, I would have loved to have a wedding in the fall also though to do the whole autumn thing. Wow. Hmm? Uh, when did you have your wedding? Um in February. I had the whole red roses thing, the whole Valentine's Day thing. Wow, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Was it on the 14th? No, it was on the 11th. Duh. Mm -hmm. Got to get stuff done on the 11th. You want that that energy? Gateway. Gateway. That would be so cute. Yes. Oh, let me give you a good wedding tip. I did this. When you get married, make sure you're for, are you gonna have if you're gonna have a wedding photographer, make sure your wedding photographer takes a photo. Make sure you have some type of mirror and make sure your wedding photographer takes a photo of you and your husband and the reflection of yourselves and and get the uh, picture. So it looks like there's four of you. Mm -hmm. Your wedding will last. Your marriage will last because you have you have set your marriage in eternity. In all in multiple dimensions. <laughs> See? It's another way of bonding too. Bonding him too in multiple dimensions. Like on the movie Us. <laughs> They're woo child. Yes. Um, we were taking uh, wedding photos and there was like this big giant mirror and we stood next to it. So it looks like we, had, we were two different couples, but the same. <laughs> Mirror within a mirror. Mm hmm Try it, girl. Try it. It's gone. We've been, oh, we've been together for what? We've been married for how long? Almost 14 years. Been together 18 years. Okay. Mm-hmm. What if you're gay? Have any advice for men? Oh, now you want advice, hey? I thought you were gonna come around. The same advice. <clears throat> Somebody gotta be the masculine. Somebody gotta be the feminine. Which one you gonna be? It works better if it's that way. 
Because then you have the magnetism and the polarity. So choose a side. Later, grow. Um. Hey. Where would you put the mirror, though? You could have, like, you know how Harry Potter had a mirror in the first one? It's, like, against the wall. You could suggest, like, um, you could buy a mirror, rent a mirror, I don't know. Wherever your venue is, ask them if they have, like, a giant mirror that they can put out because you want to take photos with it. Just like, oh, you know, people, bridezillas always have crazy ideas anyway, so they're not going to question it. But they might have one somewhere. They might be able to go buy one or rent one or whatever. Just have them have one set up so that you can take photos. And that would be a cool wedding um, crop anyway to make it look like you're taking photos with yourselves. <laughs> People will like line up and start taking selfies and stuff. Like, you know, um, and it would be just like a cool thing to have like in a corner somewhere. Uh, if you're having a big venue or a, a reception or something, do it in a reception. You know, where the cake is and stuff. Now I'm interested in makeup. Hey, Dusty Texas, girl, you got to get dust free, baby. Come on. <laughs> Stay dust free. I love cosmetics. Um, I'm in Texas too, girl, but I ain't dusty. I'll tell you that. Only thing you need to be dusting on is these these shadows. Hi. Another shameless promotion. The links in the in the section below. You need to dust them on with these here dare uh these here brushes. My Texas accent. Um. What's up, Lil Nas? Hey, Lil Nas. What? Why are mirrors so important? Because they are different dimensions and aspects of reality. Um, did I miss you talking about the spiritual connections to make them? You sure did, but I'll just give it to you in a nutshell before I leave. Cosmetics, root word, cosmos, cosmic, universe, universe, order, universal order. So cosmetics represent universal order, beauty, you know, um, enhancement. It comes from the cosmos because the first introduction of makeup, like even in the Bible, it says, you know, the fallen angels brought, uh, like taught women how to paint their eyes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, the whole aspect of makeup is from the cosmos. Um, it came from above. Egyptians wore it. They adorned themselves with hair, cosmetics, jewels precious metals as a symbolic representation of the divine cosmos okay so you can go back and wait for this whole video to upload like if you try to rewatch it it might start in the middle you got to give it um uh, maybe 30 minutes or click off and click back on and maybe it'll be from the beginning. But a lot of people have been asking me, why does it start in the middle? You have to give it time to finish loading. And then you can watch it from the beginning. Okay. So, and plus, you know, I repeat myself like three times throughout the video while I'm answering questions. Okay. But why, though, does it symbolize anything? That's what it symbolizes. Like, think about how the eyes look when you paint them. Like a cat or a bird an eagle, a raptor, a hawk, you know, all seeing eyes, cosmic eyes. Okay. Do you have any tips on how to get rid of drug addiction? I tired many things. I can't go without it for more than three days. Lock yourself up. Big D, lock yourself up. You don't have no choice. Go to rehab. Go to the... Go out, go go find somewhere that you have to survive and you won't be thinking about drugs. Like, seriously. I think I saw some movie like that. They put, like, these drug addicts out in the middle of, like, the, uh, what was it called? The, Everg the Everglades in Florida. And they had to find their way back to survive. 
it was an extreme rehab. <laughs> you need some extreme rehab. You need to be in life or death survival mode, baby. You really, some people need extreme cases. Why don't you take yourself camping and like tell somebody to drop? This is what my suggestion is. Tell somebody to drop you off in the middle of nowhere. Have you some water and enough food for, for, for about four or five days and get back to somewhere. <laughs> Make you a spiritual journey. You say he sounds like for real. That's some rehab right there. <laughs> They drop me off here, and I, by the time I get back, I, I should have kicked my habit. How you doing? Go look it up. Go. Okay, Consuela, look up cosmetics and the cosmos. Cosmetics comes from the Greek word cosmos. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's, you can look it up on Google. Um come to death valley mm -hmm. go survive in, in the in the desert even the rainforest even a regular forest blair witch blair Mom, witch Mom, forest i Where? cannot stay a day in the desert <laughs> look go to the blair witch forest or something be more dry than stay in a haunted house i don't know like out see that don't give me no drug rehab i'm gonna have extreme escape room drug rehab <laughs> That'll get you sober. Escape room with real dangers. Right. You just gonna you just need something else to focus on that takes you out of needing to escape because you are already somewhere else. You know what I mean? Most people do drugs for a high or to escape. If you are already somewhere else and you really literally trying to escape, literally. You're not gonna want to ever go back to where you where you have escaped to. You know what I mean? And so it's a mental thing. It's a psychological thing. You're trying to escape. Now, if you literally escape from wherever that you've been taken, that's the true escape. You're trying to escape from drugs now because you took too many times to escape. You escaped so much. Now you want to escape from the escape. Okay. So now you got to take it to the next level. You need to escape from the escape by escaping and then escaping again. You see what I did? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I know I know some of y'all are just wait letting that sink in. Monkey time. Can you let me see it? This is what's making that noise. <laughs> Have I ever seen a decalcified pineal gland? Yeah. It's red like the red stone that they look for in, philosophy, in, in alchemy. It's a red stone. The philosopher's stone. That's what it is. It looks like this. It's about that big and it's red. Like a jewel. Philosopher's stone is green. Some some say it's red. Green, red, it represents the same thing. Think about it. Chris. Chris Brown got a new song called Red. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Philosopher's Stone is red. Mm -hmm. This is the true Philosopher's Stone. Exactly. A decalcified pineal gland. <laughs> That's all that is. Um. I told y'all like many videos, they didn't start looking for it until Alchemy left Kemet. They, they already had it. They 
you need to look for it. Wow. I can relate very much to what you're saying. I do drugs for the sake of escaping and the escape that I live, right? Escape the escape. Then you gotta, because the escape becomes the prison then. You see? So, yeah. instead, of, instead of trying to escape, why don't you try to create? You know, think about it. Think about being in prison. If you could run the prison, would you try to leave? If you if you could do anything, if you could create anything in a prison, if you could make your cell into like a, a lap of luxury and you have people doing whatever you said to do and then you also were protected from whoever was trying to get you on the outside and you still could make money and run your business in prison like, you know, have them people do, you really wouldn't be in prison anymore. You'd be running it, you know. So when people want to escape from things, it's because they, they feel like they can't create in the life that they're in, right? That they don't like it or they're trying to get out of it. Create the life you want Mom, and you'll never have to escape. I played a game like that with my toys. Mm-hmm. It was like you're asking luxury creative. Mm-hmm. Like, it's cool. And they still treated you bad. No. Luxury. Yeah. Well, you have to act like you're really a prisoner sometimes so people don't get suspicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I, I was <laughs> Yeah, don't escape to this have to escape to escape. Just create where you are and that's your escape. Okay. Prisons don't work like that. <laughs> um this yeah, that's true, right? I am an cosmetology, no, a cosmetology educator. You're right. Thank you, Carla. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel like your third eye is? Do you feel like your third eye is open? I was born with that thing open. Yeah. Do you still remember you as a baby? Yes, I do. I have like a really good memory from early childhood. I can remember when I was two years old. I can. I can remember super details. I know I was two years old. Could could have even been before that. So yeah. I remember when I did not want to eat baby food. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. That's oh. all I remember from a really, really young age. Right. I remember since I was super young. Do you remember being in your crib? Me too. I remember being in my crib too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a we have a racist person out here. We built mud huts and eat Ebola. You live in a mud hut and eat Ebola. Oh really? Well, at least we didn't have to chop down trees and make pollution and destroy the world to build stuff. At least we knew how to build stuff with nature that was in agreement and harmony with the earth. Oh, roasted. Sasha said you just got roasted. Just got roasted. Yeah, hey, you know. At least they figured out how to be one with the earth instead of be the cancer of the earth. <laughs> now you're getting kicked off. Anyway. Back to what we were talking about. Somebody put popcorn. Okay. Go to go to California and uh, go look at a house called Stucco or Adobe. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's really good at insulation too. It's natural insulation. It was probably the first blueprint to a house or a home that was later then copied from people that lived inside of rocks and caves. Um, 
Shall I continue? Shall we talk about how the, the pyramids as well? I thought that was my cosmic pen. It is. I was just using it. You want to use it? But I did buy it for you. It's just so cute. You like stucco? Me too, girl. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the first blueprint to the first built home that you guys probably copied came from, yes, one of those wonderful mud huts in Africa. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shira, counter spell to flick. Counter spell with flick of the wrist. <laughs> what the what? Right. I need to take my book to sleep. Mm -hmm. Natural building material. Eco-friendly building material. Yeah, you know, they're paying people millions to figure this out now, and they've already figured it out. <laughs> right, bonafide bloom. Ways to decalcify your pineal gland. Uh, stop using uh, fluoride. One, that's one. No fluoride, baby. Alkaline water. Ooh. You can use a lemon to to make your water alkaline. Lemon juice. Um, knowledge, knowledge. Yes. Somebody said that I look like a goddess and nothing bothers me during a code blue. <laughs> okay. Take gold. It's food for the pineal gland. Yes, y'all can get my um, nano gold particles on my um, Etsy store, Dark Realm. Yes, my elixirs definitely decalcify. And the link's below as well, my Etsy store. Um, don't drink the tap water. No, spirulina. Oh, yes. I take that daily. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm almost out. I need to go get some more. Wow, just made a playlist of natural homes built today in Cod Press. Hey, I see they disappeared because they didn't have nothing else. Our ancient ancestors vibrated on a higher frequency and used telekinesis to, and telepathy to communicate. I believe it. You know, especially in, in ancient Kenneth, because and all over the whole continent of Africa, and that's what they're getting ready to start doing again. Y'all hear that they're getting ready to launch the whole, um, this new, well, it's not really new, this reintroducing the technology of uh, free wireless electricity through the whole continent of Africa. That's also how to communicate telepathically. That's going to start kicking in too. Thank you, JY from the street. Hey girl, thank you for the donation. Um, what do you mean take gold? There are nanoparticles of gold in the in liquid form. You take it as a supplement. And I do sell the elixirs and gold, uh, vital elixirs. You can buy it from anywhere, but I sell it too. Um, and the link's below on my Etsy store, but uh, it it's like, um, it feeds your pineal gland. It gives you, uh, decalcifies it. It um, helps you vibrate on a higher frequency. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the point of eco-friendly when Brazil is cutting football size pinch every second in the Amazon rainforest? There is no point. Y'all need to stop cutting it down. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Just greed. Um. 
Well, they're planting trees in India. There's rainforest in Africa. Hopefully they'll replant Brazil rainforest. And I think they they came up with something to stop the cutting down of, of trees over there. I don't know. Thought I heard that. What do you think about Florida water? Have you ever used it? Girl, that's old school. Yes, if, if people been using Florida water forever. <laughs> it's a good way to cleanse and like clear your environment and raise the frequency. Mm -hmm. um, the high vibrations of the frequency from the, um, the essential oils and the, the smell of the flowers and the oranges and, and things like that. Flowers are high frequency smells. Okay, so it's going to raise the frequency in the air. That's all it really is. And then the water is programmed as well. So it raises the frequency. Um, plants, yep. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, They're building 5G towers in my area. I'm stocked up on vitamins and getting this gold. Good for you. That's what you got to do. I thought you lift and not, you're not tired. I ain't ever tired. I'm on my elixirs, baby. My elixirs keep me going. Layla had to tell me to shut up and go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Doesn't she? Layla, uh, Sasha and I will be talking in a bit. And Layla will be telling us to shut up and go to sleep. Go to sleep. No, it's late. It's eight. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's like, oops. Okay, let's go to bed. Um, just slap yourself, right? Anything that you can use to raise your frequency, put it in use. You know, you know, you know what to do. Just do it. Five G towers are gonna to be put everywhere soon, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all they sitting y'all look. <laughs> okay, let me. Tell you. Another reason why they're putting all these five G towers up is because everybody else around the world is is getting ready to start harnessing this type of energy. Okay. Um, and if, if America's behind, they fall victim. You see. So that's one of the other reasons why they're putting up 5G everywhere because there's certain countries and nations that are doing it. They don't want them. They don't want to be out of the loop. They don't want to fall behind. They don't want to come last. They don't want to fall. You see, America has to keep up with them, them and them or else they fall. And so everyone else who is doing it you know, they don't want to fall. America will sacrifice the health of its people to stay ahead of the game. Okay. Now all people, not all people are going to be sacrificed, but many people will. 7G in Korea got people's nose bleeding. Got to vibrate higher. Okay. Why do you think a lot of the Chinese are moving to Africa and buying up land in Africa? Because they're going to implement this whole system of wireless energy throughout Africa. So, um, mm -hmm. it's for everything. There's, there's multiple reasons behind this 5G. This 5G is going to bring in a whole new thing, like... Thank you, whack ass people. <laughs> I love saying that. Have you ever used Moldavite? Does it help vibration? I did. I used to sleep with it under my pillow. I sleep with that. I used to sleep with it under my pillow for astral travel and intuition and dreams and cosmic galore. Sleep with it. Sleep with it under your pillow. Um. Yeah. So they're doing it to keep up because they're, they're going to miss out if they don't. So it's either you get with it or you don't. 
so if they see all these other countries implementing it, Korea, you know, uh, Asia, da, 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 Africa, you know, wherever, they're going to do it. People going to die, medical industry will make money. That's how America's looking at it, y'all. They're going to be like, oh, well, well, at least the medical industry will make money. <laughs> Better invest, invest in medical industry. There's a bunch of people going to get cancer. Um, invest in the pharmaceutical industry. There's a bunch of people going to be on meds. So. Mm-hmm. Invest in chemical, uh, not chemical, invest in supplements, vitamins, and all that stuff because a lot of people are going to start, you know, trying to take those to counteract the 5G. Um, make you hear, appear to be hearing voices. Some people can do that already without 5G. 5G is, is kind of like to tune in. 5G is going to help you tune in. It's going to. 5G is a frequency, okay? And if you can tune into a frequency or above a frequency, you only have to deal with it. You know what I mean? So let's just say whatever your frequency is, like say your frequency is below 5G or 5G or whatever, it affects you. But some other person is vibrating so high, they don't even feel 5G. 5G don't phase them. So this is this is the equivalent to the feather and the heart on the scale of Ma'at, okay? This is the equivalent to the scale with the feather and the heart. So uh, right now, you have to rise in frequency in order to rise above 5G. Okay. Hate, you can't do that because that lowers your frequency, especially your heart. And that's what's affected the most by 5G, your heart. People are going to start going into cardiac arrest. Finding it hard to breathe. Uh-huh. So get your heart chakra correct. Like When I say heart chakra, I mean don't hate. Hate brings your heart chakra down. It brings the electricity in your heart down. So if you don't have to like people, but don't hate. <laughs> laugh. Find what find stuff to laugh at. How do you find out what your frequency is? They have these holistic uh healers and like doctors that hook you up to this like um machine and they like put those little things on your head or your wrist or whatever, your chakras, and you can you, you can find it out that way or just know thyself. You know. Mm -hmm. Find a holistic um, doctor that has, I don't remember what the machine is, but they can measure your frequency. Mm -hmm. Electrodes. Mm -hmm. Chinese know why their empire fell. Solar minimum, extreme climate change, except certain areas in Africa is safe food. Right, right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible literally says protect your heart. Yes. That's why I found it in this time I can't hate. I just, you know, I just have to laugh at everything because it's funny. Like, I don't hate anybody. Hating is for people that lack something. I don't lack anything. Another reason to get your money up. Ah, so you don't have to hate. Um, another reason to get your cosmetics on so you don't have to hate. Look, the less you have to hate, the better you feel and the higher you vibrate. You know, that's why everybody, everybody walked around Egypt in jewelry and makeup. Ain't nobody going to hate on you if you're looking good. Hey, unless they ugly. Like, seriously, everybody had money. Everybody looked good. So who was hating on who? Actually, they didn't only have money, they usually traded. They had gold, right? They just traded for what they needed. So, so they didn't really give away money and value. Right. They didn't have no system of money. Everybody looked good. Everybody had money. 
everybody had food and the land of milk and honey, right? Hey. They had the Nile River. No, oh, was that greedy? They had the knowledge. Mm hmm. There was no greed. Right. They had electricity. <laughs> it was a good old day. It was a good time. And no, there was nobody hating on anybody, you know? Until, you know, until some people wanted to start hating from outside. Okay. Um, so, sure, what are the chakras they must use to harness, harvest energy like we exactly, like what exactly do they do? Um, um they're the energy points in your body and you control them by, by your uh, frequencies. Do some research. Mm -hmm. I did a whole video on those. You love complimenting people. Good for you. Compliment yourself. <laughs> First, and then compliment other people. Because here's my thing, and I hope that you do, Lady Bird. People that compliment other people and they don't compliment themselves are giving away free energy. Compliment yourself first. And compliment other people. You don't have to do it in front of them. But compliment yourself first. Don't compliment other people without ever complimenting yourself first. No. You know, wake up in the morning. Oh, I look good. And no, no, okay. then, you, then you can appreciate other people's things and compliment them. But if you're only complimenting people to get a compliment back, that's the wrong thing. And I know, I hope you're not doing that. But don't ever compliment people in order to get a compliment back. You're supposed to be so full of yourself already. You don't need a compliment. You see, so, um, because <laughs> I noticed that a lot of people give compliments in order to receive compliments. And when I don't compliment them back, I see their disappointment, but it's not my fault. <laughs> okay. I know I can feel when people are doing it for the wrong reason and I purposely don't give one back to teach them a lesson. You just say thank you. I say, thank you. <laughs> or I can tell when people want me to ask like, oh, how was, you know, oh, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day or how was your day? I'll just say fine. Great. I'm not saying, oh, how was yours? I don't want to talk to you. And it's not because I'm rude. It's because I can tell you're fishing for Attention. my energy and I'm not trying to give you my energy right now. I'm busy. So if you're only saying hello to me or giving me compliments to get one back, I'm so sorry. Give it to yourself. Okay. Now, if I give you a compliment, I don't want one back. In fact, if I give you one, keep it. Don't give me one back because I already know. Okay. <laughs> and that's the right way to give. If I give money, I it's not a loan. I don't want it back, ever. Keep it. Okay. I don't give to. I don't give to receive. I give because I'm giving. I receive naturally. Okay. I don't exhale to inhale. I breathe. Think about it like that. So. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad, Lady Bird. I'm so glad. Hey. It's nice that you compliment people. I do too. But for the for the person that had to hear that, I don't know who it was, but I know they in here. That was for you or y'all. Okay. That's you're contributing to someone's weakness. Make them strong by not giving one back. <laughs> Cosmetics mean ordering and arranging according to the wikipedia yeah it's because it's based from the word cosmos which represents cosmic or universe or order from chaos how you doing give one of yeah give with one hand and receive with the other i already got what i, I got a bunch of i got a bunch of stuff stocked up back here 
so I can throw and give. Because I got stuff being thrown at me from behind, you know. Give with one hand, receive with the other. That's right. When it's the correct time. Like, if somebody says, okay, I'll give you this. Like, okay, you know, thank you, thank you. That is true. But don't go looking for it. Don't, don't go looking for it and do it for the wrong reasons. Pisces nature, right? A giver is Pisces nature, right? Mm-hmm. Look up Chinese Sea of Pearls, man-made islands to export goods, food from Africa to China. What? Really? I'm going to go look that up. Okay, y'all. I got to go because this lip gloss is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Here, I wiped it off. I love uplifting people. Oh, that's so nice. I don't have to be in the mood to do that. I have to uplift these kids while I'm here. <sighs> My children. All right, good night, y'all. I've been supposed to be been, been gone, but good night, y'all. Thank y'all, everybody who donated. Thank y'all for being there. Thank y'all for liking every all the videos. I wonder who shaped the whole video. I don't know. But before y'all leave, go ahead and like, put that like button up. Okay, hit that like, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. said, make sure you subscribe. Turn on the thing, the alert thing or whatever. Notification bell. Notification bell. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha, for that ending. You said put on that notification bell and subscribe. <laughs> All right, chill. Good night, y'all. You want to make a t-shirt business? Hey, go. Good luck, y'all. Good night. I'm getting ready to click bye, so y'all hit my thumbs up while I'm on the way out.